Yeah. I'm Hello, not everyone. Anymore. How y'all doing today? Welcome, welcome, Hi. welcome to season Hi. two. Good to uh, good to see you all. How, Brent, can you keep down? I'm trying to listen to the stream. Ah, yeah, gotcha. Hold on. I'm just gonna just turn <laughs> Joe down by. 200 no i'm kidding uh, <laughs> <laughs> i do have to readjust everyone's volumes because it's been a minute but it's uh so good to be dming you find dead beats once again uh pretty excited about this season i feel like things are gonna go underway pretty quickly um yeah you guys uh you guys want to dive right into it sure um, yeah i'm down <laughs> Okay, let me. Bu, 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 bu. Uh, good beat. Yeah. Jesse, Jesse, are you here? Did Jesse Maybe. step away? Oh, okay. there he is. No, <laughs> I had just, I just hadn't heard him talk at all this whole time, and I figured before we're like, yeah, let's get going. We should yeah. make sure we're all at the computer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I would hope someone would be like, hi, I stepped away. I'll be back in like a minute or so. So, <laughs> Not me. Not you. Well, you I'm a wild card. Ah, you just get up and walk away whenever you feel like it. I get it. I respect that. <laughs> um, you just did it then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, this is where he has a heart attack unless he makes a death saving throw right now. Right now. Well, he's dead. He's gone. Uh, oh, hey, sorry. What did I miss? Make you die. No! <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, I know. I pulled a fast oh. one on you. Rip, rip, rip. A... Yes. What? Sorry, I, I, uh, he said rip, rip, rip. Oh, I, said, rip, I, I thought rip, you said. Rip, rip. I thought you said bread, bread, bread. I was like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> but, yeah, what's uh, what's going on? How's it going? All right, let's uh get over here we got a little bit of recapping to do uh i was writing the recap before beginning the session and i don't i didn't finish it so we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna it's gonna be like a half recap half improv recap but should be good oh boy i haven't dm'd in a week so i this is exciting for oh me. yeah you're gonna be terrible at this just I'm, the worst yeah i'm gonna be the absolute worst i think i'm gonna be okay i think it's gonna be a solid seven out of ten attempt right here you know what i mean I think it's gonna be all right. And then, oh, it's so bad. Maybe I'll surprise myself. We'll see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> so you guys are currently uh, have returned back to the city of Jotun. Um, but let how 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 did we get here? Okay. Well, let's let's talk about. We're that. all asking that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. What happened? Well, we gotta. I can give you the 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 briefest of recaps. Not only are we going to do a a, 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 an, a session recap, but we're also going to do a season one recap just to kind of get you guys back in the flow of things. Um, of course, there's going to be a lot of stuff we do not cover in this recap. So if this is your first time watching Deadbeats, you got to check out season one over on the YouTube channel. It's a good, good time. It's a good, stressful dramatic good good time uh so brief recap of our previous uh season and then feel free to interject at the end if i forget anything so a couple of prots led by the previously legendary detective logan horn not dash horn logan horn points at logan says logan's name five times logan horn uh, goes on a secret mission to track a murder that they believe is part of an of a cold case from 20 years ago. The serial killer facade would leave their victims' bodies in rigor mortis while petrifying their face. A corpse discovered in the same fashion was found across the sea, or across the shattered sea, I suppose, uh, in the city of Jotun. Dating the investigation, Logan also brings on several convicts, each with an asset or resource uh, that would be beneficial to the case. And of course, this is uh, off the books. And this is the the only one that is leading the charge here uh, is Logan. So this is an, an official case or a case sanctioned uh, by the Prots. Um, upon arrival, arriving in Jotun, it is discovered that the body has been displaced, making contact with an underworld mob organization, the Lamanta family. It is believed that the body was relocated to an old Black Ops site uh, used by the Jotun Prots. Upon arriving to the Black Ops site, discovering it, it is an, an old manor that belonged to, the, to uh, Cicero's family. Uh, further exploration uh, led to more suspicions as apparitions haunt the manor. 
Beer sinks in uh, to many of the dead beats, and a curse placed upon Dash, uh, aging about four, I think, what was it, like 40 years, 30 years? It, it, was, a, it was a lot. It was a lot of decades. Uh, the, uh, the group, the dead beats, have arrived over to the lab where the body of the that was stored uh, leads to further questions. As you guys discover the body in question belonging uh, to an Ionian senator uh, who was also responsible for about to cut uh, a good portion of the prot force, uh, including uh, the, the future dismissal of Logan, Dash, and Karis. So upon seeing this and then leaving the area, uh, you guys uh, return through the the the, uh, the manner where you guys are encountered by Logan's uh, old partner. Uh, the this orcish sergeant uh, explains that the body that you guys were found or discovered uh, was clearly killed, clearly killed by a disgruntled Logan, uh, and that you guys had been led along for a joy ride by Logan essentially um to do this dastardly deed of course no one's fallen for this i mean you guys have been here for the entire time of course logan wasn't the one to do this uh and upon further combat or uh, i guess a further encounter uh, it is discovered that logan's partner is actually a shapeshifter in disguise uh soon what you discover as um a an alien from another from 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 a, another planet entirely um and that they uh as as the alien sort of just displaces uh the used body um of logan's former partner uh, Logan's partner explains that this is um, that facade, you know, eventually revealed by Logan later um, that Logan is, um, excuse me, um, the alien, there's not, facade isn't just one entity. Facade is an entire organization uh, that has infiltrated high levels uh, of Kathosian government. And that's, yeah, they, that, you, they, that they're essentially everywhere, um, just disguised as a, as, as a variety of probably high-ranking officials. It's unknown at this point because right when you are told this, and as you continue to explore deeper or try to retreat the manor, uh, it is being raided uh, by the prot force uh, that you guys were a part of. Uh, after a stealthy escape, uh, you hear the sounds of the prot force getting murdered by the apparitions of the manor. Uh, one which seems to be linked directly to Victor. As you guys escape the manor and try and discuss what happens next, you arrive, and this is where we get to our previous session. Uh, you kind of travel over to the north, get you guys nice and settled, and just kind of a recap of what the heck is going on, what the heck just happened. Uh, and one of the things that you discover or mentioned um, uh, is that at, at some point, and maybe I think this is where I'm getting a little fuzzy. At some point, uh, you guys wanted to see if there was a Chi presence. Um, I don't know if you guys knew about the Chi, like Chi Ganymedian comp. So you found out somehow that Chi's do not like ganymedians and that you eventually were going and exploring and and looking for uh, a, a uh, chi essentially yeah i think we've we found that out when we talked to him right i, I think yeah. it was logan figured out that all of the killings 20 years ago were like chi supporters Ah, yes, oh, that right. was the link. That is correct. So you guys made the link that those that were the victims were essentially in one way or another trying to bring the chi uh, into the Ionian Senate. I, yeah, I totally forgot about that check. Um, good sleuthing on that part. Um, that that was the common that was the common link, essentially, was that there was an attempt at contact with the chi themselves. Uh, and so you're like, well... You might know where one is because we've heard stories and tales of, you know, chi coming from the north and being, you know, e either attacking or being killed uh, by a mining village over to the south. So, uh, yeah, you guys decide to look around, see if you can find any sort of influence with the chi, and you find one freezing and, and frigid and freezing and cold, but just sitting there waiting. And after a, a lovely conversation, uh, with the chi that you guys have dubbed Pinchy, 
uh, Pitchy reluctantly uh, joins you, but states that, hey, you're all a bunch of, you, you all bunch of meatbags. We're going to conquer you anyways. And you're like, well, the enemy of my enemy is still my enemy, but probably could be a good, good asset. So you have brought this, this member of the Chi race that you guys have lovingly named Pinchy and who has accepted the title. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I, the next, uh, next key thing that you were going to do was travel over to the south, um, and see if you could speak with, uh, a contact that I don't believe, uh, Piper mentioned who it was, but we all are fairly sh assumptive of, uh, assumptive of who it is, uh, but I won't include it in the recap because I don't think it was ever actually blatantly said who Piper's contact is going to be. Um, but first, on your way, as you kind of travel through, uh, you guys stop uh, over at the Lamentos to see if you can um, reach over somewhere um, to, to see what's exactly been going on with that, uh, whether the Lamentos have betrayed you. You guys were stopping uh, to see the Lamentos at one point in time. I'm I'm uncertain the reason that you guys gave uh, to investigate the Lamentos. It was, was it... because they also liked the Chi. Ah, uh, gotcha. I think it's why we were coming by. Okay, cool. See, they knew like what was up, or also because they're the ones that sent us to the manor. Yes. So, so there was definitely going to be some questions. So I just wanted to make sure that there was like. It, it, primarily, I was like, I, I'm pretty sure there's a reason that you guys gave, and I hopefully it wasn't something I, I pushed you towards. Um, so yes, you guys were to hopefully gather some more information. And then upon arrival uh, over to the Lamento's hidden bunker, uh, you find the stones displaced to the secret entryway. And upon and upon entering, uh, everyone's in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And upon entering, uh, you immediately discover uh, the place in absolute utter disrepair uh, with corpses scattered deeper within. And that is the recap. Is there anything that I missed uh, besides the would they, won't they between Victor and Logan? Uh, I caught a really big fish. You caught a couple of big fishes. <laughs> yeah, actually, you I'm caught... really good at fishing. It turns out <laughs> you're, not, you're not like forty something anymore. I'm no longer forty, and I'm and fish fear me. That those, is those fish are the fear highlights. Him. That that is true. <laughs> That is true. You visited dude. the middle-aged man session of your life so that you could bring back that fishing knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, season one had probably, in, in my humble opinion, one of the best episodes of Deadbeats, uh, which was the uh, prequel episode we did uh, diving more into <laughs> uh, Dash and Piper's childhood. Uh, so, and we learned a little bit about that. And, uh, and yeah. Uh, chat would like to notice Dash still have the beard. No, the beard immediately fell out. Uh, fell out. Yeah, the uh, beard sucked back into the Sucked back in. <laughs> okay, um, uh, if that's if that's the uh, if that's the story you want to tell, that's yep. the way. That's how it is. It just slurped back into your face. I like it. I was just gonna say it just kind of like fell off. Like you just went it thinned out and just no. like you know fell. No, it slurped into your face. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm cool with that. I'm cool. Also, with that. Also, Mr. DM, not that I'm complaining about it, but for like you know consistency's sake. Yes. Make me smaller. Ah, yes, I can. Uh, Reduce me. Reduce me. I think I will. I. It's just the slightest. Yes, it's just that. <laughs> It's just the slightest, it feels more at home now. the oh slightest God. reduction. Uh, let me go ahead and change your it, uh, foundry handles tokens weird because like if you put a token down on a map, it doesn't save that as like your 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 character token. So let me actually just kind of boop. All right, now your base token will always be that. Oh, did we also say that um, Logan destroyed his thieves tools and we found out, I don't know, like 15 episodes later <laughs> that Eli could have fixed them at any yeah. time? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, like Logan knew that he had mending because he saw because he fixed your shirt. So Logan yeah. knew. Logan just didn't ask. Yeah. <laughs> well, didn't put those two things together. You know how it'd be. 
these are the uh these are the the <laughs> these are the, the the many lovely stories and and as you guys can see you gave the story highlights we gave character highlights absolutely absolutely all right so uh let's see I'm taking a look here uh all right uh is uh is is jesse back Jesse has a very large Jesse said, Yeah, I was about to say that's a real big room. Yeah, Jesse said they had to run across the room real quick, and it's like this is the biggest room. <laughs> the 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 biggest <clears throat> massive room. Hey, hey. Jesse. Where'd uh, you go? That's okay. Uh I can go ahead and get some stuff there. Uh any other stories you guys would like to uh share while we wait for one Jessup? Okay. Um, Do this, this, this. I'm secretly plotting to steal everybody's hair in their sleep. Well, that's. I feel like that's a that's a work in progress that you yeah. uh, originally that's character were, development. You were gonna okay. steal organs and 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 nails and things like that. But yeah, I, I can't that. steal any of their organs right now. They need them for the most part. Right. The, the right one now? person. The one person who really doesn't need them <clears throat> is Logan, and oh. you know his are already kind of up there in age, so they won't mm -hmm. go for that much. Don't tell me what I, I do. don't need. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do have one anecdote. Is that mm -hmm. uh, I went into my Google Docs a while back uh, after oh, no. like one of those sessions, and I see in my Google Docs and under my recent documents after care after life care and donate and it like cuts off and i was like what the hell is that <laughs> and i completely yes. had forgotten and it was it was literally uh hellebore's contract oh yeah but it's yeah, like yeah, in yeah. my it's in my docs so yeah. i just completely had forgotten and then i saw it and i'm like i don't know what that is and that is horrifying to see. it's always there if you want to sign it well, I I have it open right now. I'm looking at it. I'm All literally right. looking at it. I put a lot of uh, care into writing that. Okay, uh, Jesse is. I, back. I'm impressed. Karis is not, but I'm impressed. I the player. <laughs> I got to get my music folder in gear. This is this is a a freaking mess. Oh my god. Uh, let me see something. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. Stick around to the end of the episode, guys. Brett. You can react to the D and D movie trailer that just dropped. Apparently, there's a D and D movie trailer. Apparently, it literally just dropped. Yeah. Is is it good? Is it oh my good? God. I mean, I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it. I I have. Uh, We're all in the game. We're all in the I, game. We can't watch it. Yeah, we can't yeah. watch it. Yeah. Oh, it. That, that makes sense. That we it are just, D and D. Yeah. I mean, came into after the after this episode, you should watch it on your stream. Okay. Yeah, I I might do that if I've got some time. Um, honestly, anything's better than the D and D movie that they released uh, in yeah. the early two thousands. Like anything, I feel like anything. Well, no, I take that back because yeah, Jeremy don't, Irons. Don't do this. Jeremy Irons was a real treasure in that movie. Like he gave it his fucking all, man. That's like, true. He took it seriously. <laughs> he took it extremely seriously. <laughs> I, uh, it, I, uh, funny enough, just just real real quick anecdote, and then we'll we'll get started. Um. So I, I worked at a university that one of the co-creators of D&D &D was like an instructor, you know, ended up being an instructor too. Um, and they were talking with him about the D&D &D movie. And it was like, he was like, that movie was utter garbage, like absolutely terrible. And he said that, you know, they went to him with like, okay, so like, what can we do? And it's like, oh, what if you did like a D DVD extra where like as stuff were happening you could do like a dice roll like a little D like a like a like a D and D D and D 20 dice roll so you could actually see checks in real time he's like that'd be pretty cool and apparently the movie executives were like we don't understand what that has to do with anything. Of course. Yeah, yeah they were course. like, and, and they were like, and he was like, got it. <laughs> like, and that was it. That was like, all right, well, uh, okay, cool. So yeah, so that was a, a fun little story. Anyways, let's get spoopy. So you guys have arrived um, within the old uh, Lamento, Lamento um, um, bunker, essentially already greeted uh with a corpse deep inside and as you kind of 
look around this displaced bunker, uh, deep within the dark cavernous area, you'll begin to see just, yeah, I mean, you'll you'll see it scattered uh, with Lamento mobsters' uh, bodies just just uh, torn around. Uh, it seems that there has been a bit of siege damage uh, scattered throughout. Uh, as you're looking around, you'll actually see part of the foundation, a little bit of the ceiling seems to have collapsed in as ch chunks of, of rock and rubble scatter throughout. Um, so, uh, you guys are free to do, say, uh, whatever you want. The screen is unpaused as a friendly reminder as you continue to explore anything. Um, you, you guys are pretty good about this, but uh, I will react to events that happen. Also, as a general dungeon rule, uh, just so that you guys are aware, uh, let me just go and do this because I've been doing this for a couple of other campaigns now. Uh, sometimes uh, when you enter a dungeon, there may be a, a trap uh, that is hidden. The trap, I'm trying to get my icons out, not that. Boop, 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 boop. Look something like this. So if you guys, so you're not, obviously you're not just gonna see this just there, uh, but instead it is going to be hidden, which means as you're moving and walking around, uh, sorry if I say I'm using you as an example, as you're walking oh. around and you go there, I go, uh-oh, trap, and then the effect goes off. So make sure as you guys are walking around, uh, you are doing your investigation perceptions checks if you believe an area to be trapped. Obviously, not all areas will be trapped. Uh, but just know that we are now level four adventurers, which means uh, difficulties uh, are going to start increasing, including the usage of traps in dangerous areas and sometimes they're not even traps that are placed it could even be an old you know it looks like a an old piece of foundation about to to break apart you may walk under an area where the ceiling's about to collapse in it's just always good to be cautious be careful etc etc you're all you're all D, D veterans at this point um but yeah we continue off from where we, where we left off. Oh, one more thing. Uh, and, <laughs> and I'll leave this option to you. Uh, Dash, if you do recall, you are currently suffering with exhaustion. I have a level of exhaustion, yeah, because yes. I became restless un night. Un un 40. Yeah. Yeah, you had a restless night because of the serum. Um, mm -hmm. I will let you know, though, there is an option to suspend that exhaustion for a short period of time, uh, and that would be drinking a strong cup of coffee. Uh, that'll <laughs> set the exhaustion. Only we had someone with that. <laughs> <laughs> you are Story able out. Nope. You, are, you, are, you are able to suppress your exhaustion uh for an hour if you do uh do that uh but the exhaustion will then return this one is mine <laughs> Hold yeah, okay. caffeine pills Wait. that's the best yeah, i can do yeah dash would never think to drink coffee so it's fine all right that's that's good 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 to, good to know i just wanted to let you know that you do have options. Uh, yeah, I appreciate scenario. the option. <laughs> yeah. What All if right. I, like, brush up some caffeine pills and then have you snort it? <laughs> I'm leaving that up to you. I'm, <laughs> as the DM, I, I, I uh, step back into I'm the shadows. I'm not doing it now. We're in a situation. <laughs> <laughs> as DM, you know, you see the little DM raccoon step into the shadows. The stage is now yours. All right. If you have any questions, you, you know the drill. Feel free to let me know. But otherwise, the scene is set, and your the game is unpaused. Do and say as you will. Um, I know Karis would immediately like walk over to nearest dead dude and be like, "What killed him?" And hold like, on, stop, stop. <laughs> what? You have to be We're careful. We're in deep, in a deep place, with deep trouble. I heard it from a friend. <laughs> <laughs> We're very deep. Don't. You never know what could be down this deep. Yes, that's a dead man, but this is an active crime scene, and whatever killed them could be here, ready to kill us. Let wow. me do the thing I was born to do and roll my 
eye for detail. He, uh, <laughs> he caught a hidden object or and it like, we ain't getting trapped. I'm not getting set up for traps by you, mister. I, uh, I see Logan immediately, uh, put their hand in their pockets to just pull out like a set of like a couple set of like six sided dice. Let's me roll. <laughs> Was that a magnifying glass and then a dice in the other hand? I got yeah, this. I pulled out a, yes. bunch, yes. a bunch of dice fall out onto the floor. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Those. Good stuff. Oh, oh yeah. I would love to Feel roll. free. Okay. I need That's... to. I for detail, uh, I believe, is perception. It is a perception check. Your investig just so you are aware, uh, your okay. Your investigation perception and investigation are the same. Wow. Your wisdoms uh, okay, 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 okay. Investigate the world. Uh also Snake, I need to re import your character. Cause I saw you were you had a couple of stats, stat points that you were missing. So I'm re importing your character now, Snake. Um, while this is going on, Dash has brought out his shield as well and sort of gestured for the others to stay behind him. Pulling um, out that riot shield. You which, know, of you, which of you can see in the dark? I mean, I can. Elf baby. Ah, I can as well. So, oh, I know. <laughs> 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 that came out mean. way dirtier than I wanted it to, but I'm all right with it. I'm all right with it. Uh, <laughs> Ayo, who, who hey here yo. cannot see in the dark? You can see anything with those eyes. <laughs> I can't uh, see, but you know what I can feel? Hmm. My oh. pack of cigarettes in my pocket. He gets out a cigarette and lights and starts Absolutely smoking because he's not. stressed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What I'll well. do is I'll climb Kids the don't smoke. and I'll stay at the back. As we walk along, I'll make sure nothing comes up behind you. All right. I walk up the ceiling. <laughs> Hell yeah. You yeah, know. what did my roll tell me? Do we, uh, is there anything spooky? One second, I gotta get the cigarette lit. All right, there we uh, go. Yes, let's go! That's yeah. like a bright <laughs> cigarette. What the heck? It lit up that whole corner. Yeah, it's just, just echoing there. Uh, you so see you him pull out my or... fire gun. He lights it with the end of his fire gun. Let's go. No, don't don't smoke, kids. Uh, what is your investigate? Uh, what are you investigating? I'm just trying to see if there's anything besides the body in front of us. Like anything that seems out of order. I'm trying to Sherlock this room. Gotcha. And see if there's anything like, oh, well, that's obviously a trap. Gotcha. Okay. So you're specifically looking for like dangerous uh, areas. Yes. Like before sources. we enter. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, so as you look around, uh, anything that has fallen uh, from what has clearly been like a, a siege attack, essentially, which means some sort of heavy machinery, heavy, heavy weaponry was used uh, in this place. As you look around and 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 look at the areas, uh, the only dangers you seem to see from the weakened foundation are within the wall and ceilings themselves. As long as you kind of stay within the 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 the, the middle of the hallway, uh, even if something were to collapse, you don't. You, it doesn't look like the whole hallway is going to collapse in, making the yeah the center of the hallway safe. All right, be sure not to touch anything. This. Entire facility is rather structurally unsound, so let's be quick about this. Understood. Uh, this infrastructure is pathetic. As he looks my, around, yeah. Print my, my apprentice. <laughs> oh, um, it wasn't like this before. Um, um, by the way, just so you are aware. I'm sorry, I'm throwing a lot of stuff around. Uh, oh, I'm afraid your friends <laughs> from the Century Moon. Oh, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, such a good one, such a good one. Um, when it comes to NPCs, uh, so as to not take away the spotlight from you guys, uh, NPCs will typically have a passive uh, role upon the exploration of things. Uh, you, however, are free to suggest or command an NPC to do something or look at something. And depending on how they are with you, uh, they may do it or they may tell you to fuck off. Uh, same thing with combat. Uh, you can issue, uh, you can spend a bonus action to issue a command to an NPC. 
And same thing. Uh, they'll either do what you say or they'll tell you to fuck off and do their own thing. Um, but just NPCs will always do be more passive. Um, you'll never have an NPC be like, look over there, a trap, or maybe we should go over here. It's 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 your it's your story. Um, so less NPCs. Elizabeth, more MMO RPG like guy we have to guide. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Um, but otherwise, uh, they'll they'll fend for themselves. They'll take care of themselves. They'll fight if they have to, et cetera, et cetera. But you won't have to. They're not. They gonna, won't throw us ammo. They're no. They're not going to throw you ammo. They're not the prime <laughs> strategy guide. They're just. They're, they're just here. Action. Yeah, they're just here. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that is what you've discovered, and that is what your investigation yields. Uh, quick um, question. Yes. Was there signs of forced entry? Uh, you can roll an investigation check and and find out if you. Good if you question. Will. Good question. I don't know well, shit. Why well, that's Maggie. that's Maggie, so you don't. Yeah. Have, so you get to re-roll. Hey, hey there. Yeah, is. much better. Yeah. So as you like look back over in the hidden entryway, um, for a something of this magnitude, uh, you would assume that a heavy siege weapon had to have been through here. Um, but upon the the entryway, uh, you will see that there isn't really any um, there there isn't any force entry uh, from this side which would suggest that either the threat was once small and then became big, or they had entered in a different way. Hmm. So it was like a tiny threat, but then it became bigger. Could be. And then it got this deep, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, this is, yeah. I mean, this, it, even from the entry, it's just, this, this happened here as well, so. Right, no, yeah. Um. <clears throat> Karis wants to uh, check this guy's body to see, like, if she can tell specifically what might have killed him, like gunshot or or medicine uh, check. Yeah, medicine. Or, and like how how old the corpse is, like how long he's been dead. Medicine check, please. Take my assistance. Can I can I use anything to help with that? Like my detective Teleport presence. Is so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so if you guys are like, you know, so all three of you are kind of like gathered around currently trying to figure out what, what's happening, going back and forth. Um, who would be leading the charge on the medicine check if you all three of you are having this conversation? I mean, if you're kneeling down, if it's like Karis is, I would be like sort of above and doing the thing, you know, like that, that teacher thing where it's like a thing. hot mold, like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> mm. You know, mm -hmm. all right. I'm doing that, and uh, I see Piper's also uh, part of this as well. Um, Karis, go ahead and roll at an advantage as you are getting the help action currently. Hey, oh, okay. Hey. Uh, so you already rolled medicine for ten, so I have to actually right. do the side the the roll there. So I'm gonna press the plus button here, and then oh, okay, I yeah. didn't know how that. No, that's all good. And then that's gonna be so I can't include that roll because there is two different rolls there, unfortunately. Uh, 20, that's still really good. Uh, so as you begin to investigate uh, the body, uh, you see this giant bloodied, just like gash, like right uh, across the chest. And as you begin to carefully, of course, move the coat back so as not to taint any evidence, uh, you will notice that it wasn't so much a cut. I mean, it is definitely has the qualities of a cut. Uh, but it is what I would describe a crushing cut, meaning something has dispatched uh, this individual with great force uh, with a, a bladed object. Uh, and it's massive. It's absolutely huge and massive inside. It, it, it has almost cleaved um, the body in two. Karis wrinkles her nose. Whatever got him, it's... Uh large I will, leave, I will even tell you um, that with a 20 uh the object would be considered large in category so not a weapon big. wielded by a uh a medium character and it's definitely a weapon and not like 
uh, like a claw or anything else. Like it's, it, it, it's it, a blade. It, it does not appear to be natural. No, it doesn't appear like okay. it came from a from a natural entity. It's a fine cut, if you will. It is it, mm. and that's the thing, right? It's not like it doesn't have the precision of a fine cut. It is quite literally like a heavy bladed object that came down at such a force that it almost just tore the body in half. Um, can I tell how old, like how old it's been dead for? Like how long it's been dead? Uh, with a 20, yes. Uh, <sighs> it has been a day. So while we were gone. If, if you would calculate probably about the same time that you were in the manor or fleeing from. Hmm. Well, there goes the theory that they were associated with our current predicament. Yeah. Karis will kind of stand back up and wrinkle her nose. She <laughs> She's a little grossed out. Um, how how long were you guys when you left the manor? You were only you were only resting for a day, correct? It was, or was yeah. it a few days that you were gone? Uh, wait, it was a few days, wasn't it? Was it? It mm. was the night, and then we went to go get, and then the next day we went to go get Pinchy, brought Kinchy back, Pinchy yeah. back to our camp. Then we rested again. Then we left. Gotcha. Yeah, it wasn't so, that long. So it was a it was a couple of days, correct? Couple of days. Well, yeah. what, whatever, however long you were gone, that's how long this this the body has, has been cold. Okay. So it would have taken place pretty much right after we had left this place, then. Essentially, yes. If not at okay. the same time. <clears throat> if we well, press on, we might get more information. Yeah, let's go. Well, hold on. Remember, these are important members of a crime family, and they haven't been seen for a while. And we're wanted. Surely the police would have at some point gone to check on the missing crime family members. It's from where? This could be, this could be a trap. Are you, are you saying they're going to try to set us up to have killed these people? I don't know. They tried to set us up to kill a bunch of people already, so I can only imagine. What do we do then? Well, we either move forward, find answers, or we leave this place and try to put as much distance between us and whoever's chasing us as possible. We could have Clover and Eugene take a look-see again. Looks a victor. Oh, I'm not sending Clover, no. Pussy. He the dark. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny. He's a cat. <laughs> we can send Maggie. Could also send Pinchy. Looks a Pinchy. <laughs> what? <laughs> we are terrible at naming things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I vote that we find answers. Oh, we'll be fine. down with the consequences. Clover. My yeah. bat's still out, right? It should be still out. Somewhere. Uh, yeah. So if you have your bat, then. Uh... <laughs> but. We want to have Eugene ride Clover again. Alright. Yeah. Okay, I let's go, Eugene. Get the whole squad out. Get Eugene on. They're both riding Maggie. Oh. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. Look at them. Look at them go. Woo. Maggie right. can glow, right? Well, what are they? What are they? Maggie looking glow. For? They can't. They can't communicate in depth, right? No, they can. They can mentally communicate with us for a certain range. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uno momento, please. And um. <clears throat> Uh, Clover has blind sight out to 60 feet, so if there's anything invisible, be able to hear it. Okay, Clover has blind sight. Let me allow me a moment. Blind sight, 60 feet. Look at, and, it, you, and you said that it's uh, Clover is the name of your bat? 
Yeah, named after Cloverfield because it's so ugly. Cute. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> can I, um, just really quickly, just yes. really quickly, yes, can I course. propose something? If at some point we end up with exactly six side characters, Yes. <laughs> we take a week to do an entire episode about just the side character. No, character. that's what I was going to yes. say. I was like, going to say, like Muppet Babies? <gasps> oh my gosh, it could be like that Pokemon episode where all yeah, the humans yeah. are missing and all of the Pokemon yes. go on an adventure. Just, oh just my God, I love that episode. Six of us, I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> we're almost there. And we're all different little tiny cutie pies. I'm, I'm I still down. have to build my steel defender. I'm down. Oh, oh my God. Oh my we God. Go. The next level, I get the boys. Mm -hmm. We have the B team. We have the A team and the B team. We could do we like one hundred percent the B team. <laughs> we could do like yeah. an anime. We can have a uh, anime episode with all the, all the. The undead are gonna be like the babysitters. Non-canon. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, so, uh, Clover and Eugene will ride upon Maggie. Uh, and what is the command? Just you sending Maggie out? Uh, yeah. We're okay. sending Maggie for recon to do a lap and then come back. All right. I will be controlling these characters. Uh, so okay. feel free. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Are you guys sure this is a good idea? Oh, wow. I'm almost positive it's not, but we have no other choices. Uh, so what is the commands exactly? Like if the... Um, if they find something, do you want them to come back? Or do you want them just to report how far they go? Like, I assumed I, it would be that. Do you some? Ma oh, sorry. Maggie I, doesn't have Maggie doesn't have a telekinetic link, so we I assume we would have told Maggie like, do a lap of the area, come back, and if the familiars see something, they would send that information during okay. the lap. Okay, sounds good. Uh, are they able to instruct you on? detailed information of what they could potentially see. Yeah, it says telepathy. Okay. Um, so like full full fledged okay, dokey. Uh also so yeah, so um Eli, is that what you command Maggie to do? And by oh, wait, and by lap, uh I, I need a definition of that. Assume so assume right now you are you are doing just blatant programming language just be like go 120 feet there go back or just be like you make sure you move as far as you can till you hit a wall go back like I need I need uh, precise instructions and I need it specifically from Eli because Eli is the one that's controlling Maggie And I give uh, I give dash Dash can also control Oh Maggie, dash my apologies down, you're correct I'm down you're for it being Eli It's fine yeah, da Dash can do the command. Um, e yeah, either either of you. I just needed. I just need a better definition of what a lap is. Or you think? Um, I guess like to just go into the next room and scout out the next room and then come back because okay. it might not be it might not be safe to say go until you can't go anymore <laughs> because we don't know how how hey. if there's like a secret go door until open you or die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would like to put in an if then uh, statement or rather yes. if then else. Please. Yeah. Uh, if if Mag encounters trouble, come back immediately. Okay. Mm. All right. Um, uh, can I, as an action, I can see and hear through uh, Clover's eyes and 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 ears. So can I do that? Go into his state? yes, you can within a hundred within a hundred feet though. So if it goes beyond a hundred feet. I basically tell him to stay within 100 feet of me. All right. And then um, finally, um, Piper, are you also going to be giving your vision to... No, I trust my boy. Okie dokie. Uh, so we're going to go and do that. Vision's going to go through the bat, which I believe... Can you see through the bat currently? Uh, maybe? Okay, hold on one second. Uh, I've I already got... good dog vision, so that's hard to say. Yeah, uh, vision... Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, I have vision there on and there, and I've got blind sight uh, 60 feet. I'm just going to put dark vision as well, just so you can kind of like see what's exactly that lovely little echo location. Okay. Uh, so the following will happen then. Uh, all three will. I will call as well. Boop. Boop. Okay. I'm making sure that you guys are good. Uh,. I have to pull out a ruler. You're walking forward. Uh, so you can go like right there. So 
Are you going to be walking along with? Um. Or because once it gets here, you're going to not be able to see anymore. Yeah, I mean, technically during this time, I'm deaf and blind with regards to my own senses. But if I'm walking on the ceiling, how difficult would you reckon that would be? I'm seeing through that. But telling my body to move would that be too difficult should i break the vision and then come come back no no you... so as long so if, if if all you're doing currently is just stepping forward while you can't see or hear but you're looking mm -hmm. for the bat because i'm i would imagine you would be able to tell when that link is about to be broken so if you want to yeah. kind of do like a tether kind of deal um yeah. we can do that and i'll move your character along that tether if that works with you that sounds good yeah yeah, yeah. i'd keep to a tether okay cool now uh, let me go ahead and do this Boop. And then we get right about here until we've reached essentially the limit of what can be seen. Uh, the report that would be given back uh, is so far there are three corpses that can be seen. Um, lots of wreckage, lots of ruins. Uh, one thing of note seems to be a very large uh, automaton that seems to be it's it's either non-functional it's non-moving it has it it just it's just not moving at all essentially um and it's it's large it is massively huge uh you will also uh notice that um they will also report in unison with what you guys have already discovered one of the arms appears to be that of a giant cleaver which is safe to assume is the culprit to the uh to the to the 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 death and uh yeah you would return that's the information that you'd be given along with whatever was seen uh whatever cicero has seen dash would pat maggie on the head a metal awkward tail just kind of like moves Good girl. around every time we send these things out i think they're not coming back all right eh, you know Vis Vision has been uh, removed from Clover, as I'm assuming at this point, Cicero, your vision yeah, and hearing turns. Okay. <clears throat> that is that is the information that you hear. Good boy, Eugene. The uh, Adams Family theme plays as uh, Eugene crawls back onto mm. <laughs> crawls back onto Piper's shoulder. My my boy. My boy. Is this dead man face up or face down? Is I'm sorry. Is this dead man here face up or face down? Uh, face up. No weapons on him. Uh, would you like to check? I would. Okay. Uh, he would have uh, a shard pistol and a dagger. Uh, also, he has credits. Would you take the credits? How many? <laughs> uh, so uh, he would have one uh, um, like credit plaque, essentially, um, which could have anywhere up to 100 credits on it. Glad to leave it. Okay. Uh, and the weapons? Same. Okay. By the way, to, we press on. Um, by the way, just so you know, I have a journal entry with everyone's wealth now, uh, so you don't have to worry about things updated or being removed. This look is, at me keeping oh, it man. easy. What the <laughs> hell, <laughs> man? <laughs> easy breezy. The moment All money, the, just the, coffee. Yeah, the moment the moment Logan said, "I'm probably not coming back." I'm like, then you've got no, you've got nothing. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> don't need it. Don't need it. Uh, the rookie prot and probation prot is under the assumption that you still have a salary. Obviously, that more than likely will be changing. Yeah. <laughs> I got a mommy. Guess we're poor now. <laughs> I'm rich. My mom At least one me. of us is. Hey, buy me lunch. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm sorry, were those weapons in hand or on this person? On person, on person. Okay. I mean, um, on hand, on hand would absolutely have been the pistol. Can uh, we the... like, sorry. No, no, go on. I was gonna ask because I think 
Karis and I are kind of like leading it up in case something hits or attacks or whatever. Um, can we go slow, just like check for traps and things? Absolutely. However I you guys want to do it. I have a question. Why are we going towards more dead bodies and towards the giant robot with the cleaver arm? Um, we need answers, and that robot looks like one, right? We should probably find out what happened to Lou. And if she's still alive, we might have more answers from her. We have to start somewhere. This is the best place to start. Besides, it's nothing you can't handle. Slap pat on the back <laughs> as we move forward. Slaps <laughs> ass. Face in, at Logan. Uh, in, the two have come so far. <laughs> in, in, in typical Logan fashion. <laughs> It is as heartless as you possibly can imagine. <laughs> Zero emotion uh -huh. went into it. There there you go, buckaroo. There, there. <clears throat> really reminds me of when my mom would pat me on the back. Karis is going to scan this next area for traps. Just like... Investigation, a police. Can I do one as well? Why is it investigation? Yeah. Right. Investigation, Garbo. Are you rolling your own or are you helping Karis? Uh, I can help Karis. That's fine. <laughs> Woo! Well, that's nice. a one. Nice. Uh, Very cute. Uh, as you look around, it. uh, uh, it's the same information. Uh, the sides of the walls themselves seems to be at its most dangerous, uh, retaining to the center of the room since the hallway doesn't appear to uh, look like... It, 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 the structure itself seems to be sound enough where the hallway is safe for you now. Have a minus to one explore. to investigation? Yeah. Um, <laughs> can I can I I'm use my uh, investigative skills to uh, do a search again? Uh, yeah, absolutely. As we continue down the hallway, um, are you I doing traps? Are you doing uh, trap searches, or are you just doing uh, like? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna look for anything that could impede us, like a trap or okay. you know the walls. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna send Clover <laughs> to help Logan um, by using echolocation to try and like screech oh, you. any any objects across the ground. Okay. Can I get a? Can I get another? Like, oh, all right, you did it, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so same information that I that I said before. You don't learn any new facts. Great, yeah. Logan uh, is gonna walk down the the path here with Hellebore, giving you awesome, uh, uh, giving you awesome pep talks as we go down to, to get hyped up, like <laughs> yeah, uh, like you this blow one. Smoke in your face. Like this <laughs> one. Cigarette. Yes. Just saying, your presence here is a national treasure, mic <laughs> drop. Oh yeah, you're definitely getting a face of cigarette smoke. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Logan and- I'm sorry. Mic drop, what there. is that? My, <laughs> mic, mic drop. drop. <laughs> mic drop, it's what I rolled, <laughs> mic drop. Mic drop. Uh, Dash and Karis, as you walk by, you'll notice the North, the giant automaton. Uh, it appears to actually be fashioned under a very like gothic suit of armor uh, that would fit a large character. It currently is, it appears to be battle-worn and damaged, suggesting uh, that this one had been uh, defeated. Uh, and it's Wait, saw, it, it doesn't, uh, sorry. No, go on. Well, you it doesn't look like a robot. It looks like a like a suit of armor that someone was wearing. Uh, it it is the appearance of a suit of armor, correct? And it is uh, about twelve feet tall. But you'll see God. the giant cleaver on the side. Uh, you can investigate to uh, learn more information about this. Uh, uh, Karis is gonna like peek her head around here and be like, "Eli." <laughs> yeah, that's literally what Dash is gonna do too. <laughs> Eli, come check this out. What do you got? Karis is gonna jab a thumb in this corner. Any chance of this thing coming back to life? Eli, you can do an investigation or tinker's tools check. Anybody got a light? <laughs> Come over. <laughs> that is still the brightest cigarette. Like a sparkler. I got the fancy Maggie. ones. Maggie run over. Maggie. Help. Bow wow. I, I Bow assist wow. dad because Bow I'm wow. also smart. All right. Uh, feel, free, feel free to roll some tinkers tools, please. 
Mm, yes. Uh, the help action will not be uh, used for this one, uh, simply because you do not have... Uh, oh, I thought he was doing investigation. Never mind then. No, you could. Uh, 18 is sufficient. Uh, so what are you trying to learn or discover, Eli? Uh, first and foremost, if it's definitely out of commission. Okay. Uh, upon investigating, uh, using the Tinker's tools and kind of picking around and, and looking at the state, uh, this, yeah, this seems uh, to be uh, practically destroyed. Uh, it cannot be activated and is not sitting in some sort of idle position. Uh, it, you, you'll see the uh, the various, like, scorched marks and holes left behind uh, with shard pistols. Uh, <clears throat> as you uh, look... Yeah, as you look around over to there. Uh, also, I noticed something with your Tinker's tools that does not seem correct. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this right now. One moment, please. Uh, your, uh, I'm assuming you're going to be using uh, your intelligence for Tinker's tools. Is that correct? Yes. All right, cool. Awesome. Then you, uh, your, <laughs> my, 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 you have an additional plus seven that role so oh. it's a 25 uh, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a big difference because uh. it de it, its default is apparently dexterity which is kind of weird but anyways uh yeah so you have a set of sapphire tinkers tools um and yeah so that is what you would uh, discover uh, that this is battle worn and destroyed and as you look around uh, it it's completely autonomous you'll actually see the various gears and and parts in that automates uh this this heavy-duty siege machine, which is which is clearly capable of destroying all of this. You can ask for one more piece of information, kind of like kind of like kind of like kind of like asking for wishes, you know, from a genie. Mm. Uh, you got one, which was, is the thing still alive? The answer, no. Mm. Can we fix it? New pet. Oh, can you? Oh, can you download its memories? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is there an access panel? There is. Um, so as you kind of go over into the head unit uh, and look around uh, and, and jack in, essentially, uh, you will notice that the memories that's within uh, it, its, its memory essentially has been wiped. Uh, you will learn that there is apparently a fail-safe procedure. Uh, that has been placed upon this machine that uh, whether defeated or are there um, after a short period of time uh, it completely wipes the memory banks in case anyone tries to capture it but you do notice that there is a small gap of time where the memories could be accessed but unfortunately it's been way too long to do so things busted Hmm. Do I recognize? I don't recognize the design at all, do I? <clears throat> the design itself, no. But it, 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 like I said, it, 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 it appears to have been styled after an old, like, it appears to be styled like a gothic piece of of, of animated full plate. But as far as to who would actually handle such a thing, is completely unknown. And this is definitely off the books, behind the scenes, like crudely put together. Specifically, so it can't be linked to one thing or another. I mean, I have an idea, but. See if you can find. Lou's not in here, is she? Like in the armor? Oh, that was in character. That was uh, me asking oh. if there was a blue corpse around. Oh, uh, yeah. As you as you look around, you it, all that was mentioned were corpses. Three corpses were found down the hallway. Nothing specified with Lou. I don't see her so far, anyway. If. These bodies have been here a few days. Hopefully, she would have gotten out by now. If she was still alive, at least. Hmm. 
Did we we haven't looked at this body yet, right? Not yet. Yeah, let's let's loot this body. I'm gonna walk down the, I'm walk down the walls down and, and rummage around it. Okay. So, uh, as you walk down, about to uh, see what's in within the body, Karis, as you walk down the hallway, <laughs> no, you, you God, be- why? You begin to feel a rattle underneath your feet. Cries. <laughs> As you kind of see a little bit of uh, of dust and rocks and pebbles kind of sprinkling down on the ceiling, and you actually feel it begin to fall a little on your uh, on on your shoulder, and then you you feel that rattle. C- cool. Can I jump back? <laughs> <laughs> Instinct on point or what? <laughs> All right. So what are you doing? Just jumping back? You jump. Yeah, back she's definitely gonna jump back. You jump back five feet. You look around a little bit. The rattling continues. The shake, the... (laughs) And that's when you realize that it seems to be within the side steps of... It it seems to feel not like something's collapsing, but something heavy is approaching. Oh, God. Yeah, she's going to back up and then motion to everyone like... You you so I need everyone at this point to roll initiative, please. Oh God! Uh, how do you uh, how do you want us to do our familiar initiative? Does it uh, go on, like on our turn, or does it get its own turn? Uh, so for familiars, it would be at the uh, it would be at the end of your round. Okay. Yo, crit! Hell yeah, baby! Oh. My God! Okay. Oh, there it is. One, two, three, four, I don't five, like this. six. Okie dokie. Oh, but also what's fun is, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you see it. So, Karis, you immediately see to the north. Yeah. This <laughs> oh, the, oh, God. A giant gothic piece of armor, which apparently already appears to be damaged. As I, as, as I update that and you see that hit point bar flash up. A damaged piece of a giant gothic suit of armor approaching life forms that have entered within the vicinity. So, I will roll some initiative for this one. The EX3CU. And yeah, let us begin our first encounter of season two. All right, top of the round, which uh, is very fitting, is Karis, who first uh, who who first saw this. So, let us begin. Okay, well, um, what what can I roll to like do a check on this thing? Because I don't think Karis is gonna run ahead or anything. Uh, for this machine, you could do an investigation or Arcana check. Okay, yeah, um. And then I would need to know exactly what you'd like to learn. Uh, I would probably... <laughs> Guys, what should we learn? I see uh, its health bar and it's it it's, looks like it's like less than half health, but we don't know like numbers of it. And you won't receive numbers either. Gotcha. Uh, I'm trying to refresh my mind on what you can learn. Like it, it's moves and stuff, uh, right? Yeah. So, so eff- effectively, we've kind of taken a, a meta backseat when it comes to like specific mechanics that an enemy can use. Uh, instead, you can ask general questions such as like, what kind of attacks does it have, and you can kind of like investigate to see its p- a p- a possibility. Uh, you could also learn things like what are uh, saving throws that it's proficient in. Things like that. Um, okay. I was. I, sorry. Oh, what I, was, I was gonna ask whether or not, like, could we ask something like, if she's observing it and it's already busted, could she make an observation about, like, what, what part of it is the most hurt, or like, if it has a weak point yeah, that we can, absolutely. you know, like, yeah, if there's let, like a sensitive spot. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, investigation or Arcana, please. Uh, I can do this as as just like a uh, regular action, right? It doesn't yes. Have so to be you bonus. you you have to choose if it's an action or a bonus action. Yeah, it's gonna be an action. Okay. Uh, but you could also that means you can do two checks if you'd like. You can do a bonus action check and an action check. You're essentially right. spending time trying to figure out what the heck this thing is. Well, I'm probably gonna bonus action for my arms. Okay. Uh, I'm uh, just I'm just letting you know what you can do. Okay. You do what whatever you would like to do. That's perception. I need investigation or Oh, arcana. my bad. My bad, my bad, I'm sorry. All good. <gasps> my investigation is so low. So as you uh scan the eye uh the creature over to the north. I think at this point you're just still shook that these massive, uh, these massive automatons are still patrolling the area. So you unfortunately do not learn any information, and that is your action. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bonus action and roll, roll it again. Okay. Uh. Uh, 14. All right. Uh, so with a 14, let me check here. Uh, that would be enough. So as you kind of look over it, you see that the aut automat uh, the automaton itself appears to be heavily battle-worn. Uh, it has been in the middle of a fight, and as you scan through all the corpses, it has won. Uh, however, uh, it seems to have focused fired on a particular spot, uh, allowing melee attacks made against this creature. Uh, to be uh, more effective if you hit this spot. Uh, this uh, equates to a minus one uh, to the creature's armor class. So while so while you all are fighting this creature now, um, it has a it has lower AC because of this. Great. Excellent. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, Karis is definitely gonna relay that as she backs the heck up. Okay, okay. Uh, and that'll end her round. That will be the end of your round. All right. Uh, Dash. You just kind of, um, you feel the vibrations under your feet as Karis is now left back, stating something's coming in the hallway. She'll also state it's battle mourn and there, that it has a weak point and kind of like describes it briefly. And as while this is happening, you're just hearing the <laughs> It almost feels like charges are going off with the heavy footsteps of the automaton, as you also feel the dust and rocks from the ceiling kind of like, just like over on your shoulder. Okay. Um, can I, uh, are you okay with me moving Maggie, Snake? Yeah, go for it. Uh, so, uh. It, it, so what, how uh, minions work in this end um, is whoever's giving the command uh, it'll ha it'll take place at the end of their round. I can't do it before. No. Okay. Uh, well, Dash can't see, so. <laughs> mm hmm Um, I guess, you know, I'll, he's already I'll, got his, what? Uh, also, if you want uh, Maggie to do a specific action, uh, you have to spend a bonus action to give that command. Okay. Um, I think... Dash will move forward a little and mm -hmm. realize like he can't see very well. Um, and uh, by uh, the way, I'm so sorry to keep interrupting you, um, but you should have t at, like ten torches on you. So if you would like to spend a bonus action to light one, uh, you are free to do so. I need both hands for my shield, though. Mm, that is true. My shield is a two-hander, so I don't think I can. Um. I will uh, cast Shield of Faith and up my armor class. Hell yeah. Um, AC is now 21. And uh, just kind of be ready for, <laughs> for this thing to come around the corner. Um, and then uh, Dash will like, squint a little bit and call over his shoulder. Maggie, can I get a little light over here? Wow. And then wow. after my turn. Wow have her run over to sort of be central. Okay. At the end of and your turn. It's my turn. Okay. At the end of your turn, you're going to hear. <laughs> you hear, but do not see because no one can see the target. Victor. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, use my bonus action to go into my form of dread up on the ceiling. Nodders. All of the hands coming out of its rib cage as the unbuttoned shirt. <sighs> yeah. Hanging kind of off the side of the wall. I I'm going to use my movement speed to go back up to the top of the ceiling. Uh, how high is the ceiling up? Uh, so the wall would go up about 10 feet, and then there's sort of like the ceiling's kind of like arched a little yeah. bit. Uh, so that's going to be another, I'd say about another five feet. So if you go up to the center, you'll be 15 feet high. Uh, if you're yeah. by the walls, it'll be 10 feet high. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go, uh, I'll go up to 15 feet high and I'll stand, uh, I'll stand. You'll have uh, to, if you want to be 15 feet high, you'll have to be at the center of the room, just FYI, because the way it arches okay. up. Yeah, I'll go there. Okay, feel free to um, move, and I'll give you the 15 feet of, feet of ele elevation. I can't actually move into the rubble bit. Uh, I can. One moment. I think it's a wall. It is. Yeah, it's a. It's a. It, it is a wall. So it's like a, a, a pile of rubble, but you can step over it. So, boop. I shall delete that for now. Oh, I have to roll a. E10. Uh, my former dread plus four, so this will be. Temporary hit points? Uh, I have nine temporary hit points, yeah. Epic. And then uh, I will ready my action for an Eldritch Blast or whatever comes around that corner. Okay. We also roll initiative for uh, for Pianchi. Um, Let me also Pianchi. Yeah. There he is. There's the boy. Kill. He's gonna oh, go. At, he's gonna boy. go after Cicero. Yeah. And All right. So you're um, ready to action there. Okay. And then I'll use uh, on my familiar's turn. He can dash 60 feet up to just in front of the. Uh, I can't actually move him, by the way. Uh, you're familiar. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how many feet would you like to move him? And I'll make sure. You uh, have... just right up next to 60 feet. He can dash uh, right next to the automaton. Uh, right here, and I'll make sure you have control over that familiar. I thought you already did. No problem. Oh, good. Uh, Joseph Hutch. Do, 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 do. You are the <laughs> owner. Owner there. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, cool. Awesome. You just won't have his vision. That's all. Um, okay. Uh, and what was it that you want the familiar to do? Uh, he's used his action to dash. Okay. So he's just like, <laughs> you just see his tiny little bat. <laughs> he's just flapping <laughs> over, trying to get over to you guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, as uh, you enter around, Pinchy looks around, and you'll actually see him. He reaches back uh, over to he, what seems to be like these almost like knobs over on his shoulder blades, and as he reaches out with his like this vertebrae-like hands, it, it literally looks like he's pulling two blades that have been impaled within its body. As you just see this. As they draws the two scythe, the two insect vertebrae sides, uh, you'll just see this green viscera just, just, just flash out uh, before the wounds close back in. As Pidgey looks around, you are we engaging in combat? Go oh, kill Pinchy! Yes, it's coming. Mm. Also, that's pretty badass, Pinchy. <sighs> I want some of your green liquid later. Don't touch my green liquid slime. And then you just see Pinchy just walk forward, standing <laughs> next to the front line, holding his, their blades. And Pinchy, uh, uncharacteristically, will take the dodge action. I don't see the enemy, but when I see it, I'll tear it into shreds. Well, it's coming quick. All right. I want him to get killed in one strike. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need him. I guess we don't need him anymore, but still, I like him. He's I like him. I just think it'd be funny because he talks up such a big no, game. No, Pinchy's the leader of the <laughs> B team. Pinchy is team captain of the B team for Deadbeat. He will eat all our pets. Hellboy. Deadbeats. <laughs> how's our How's our light situation looking? I mean, you're looking at it. <laughs> Okay, I walk up to Can Dash. Can Maggie do any more life than that? <laughs> nope. I tap Dash's shoulder. What if What if we give What if we give Maggie a torch to hold? Uh, <laughs> that would it, be cute. Uh, if you do that, uh, Maggie will not be able to attack. 
worth it. <laughs> Just walk through it. <laughs> When I took the scholar pack, I don't got no torch. Actually, else Maggie do doesn't this. use a bite, so you can give Maggie a torch, and Maggie is still able to attack with slam. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, Put but not if we make that Maggie, puppy's mouth. I'd say we make Maggie hold it with one of the hands. Uh, you could also uh, tinker it, uh, into Maggie a uh, better light source uh, later on as a project. We said Eli. I think that would be nice. I'm doing the meme option for now. Yeah, do it. Tap, tap, dash, hey. Yeah. Remember how like a day or two ago you said you really wanted cigarettes again? <laughs> dash looks pained. Here, yes. take the world's, take the world's lar- brightest cigarette. <laughs> I just take it out of my mouth and give it to him. I, I don't, I quit. <laughs> I, Piper, yeah, I don't well, want it. Light. Don't breathe in through your mouth. Uh, <laughs> I don't like this cigarette beam. I just want to make, make the record straight. <laughs> oh not, a, not a fan. <laughs> light source, baby. It's a light source. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, so you are going to spend your action giving a cigarette to Dash. Dash, do you take it? I take it, but I'm not happy about it. Yeah. None of us are. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'm spreading uh, the light. Okay. <laughs> uh, give me a second. Uh, boop, boop. Yeah, I take the cigarette sparkler. <laughs> I put I put it in my cleavage. I'm ready to go. Look at this boy. He's got cleavage. <laughs> you're <laughs> you're <laughs> right wrong. Your your nice. cleavage. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, does that end your? Re- oh well, Hellbore, So that's an action. You have a bonus yeah, action. Yeah, pick up. Yeah, I wait. I wait for death to come around the corner. Awesome, Logan. Uh, you know, I, I'm gonna like. Uh, is this what is this right here, my dude? Uh, plants. <laughs> but like, is it? A You're walking over. Cover? You see like the plastic <laughs> plants. Yeah, it's, it's it's so it looks like a small like uh, I don't even know the word like a small canister of just like plastic plants for decoration. Is this, is this cover? Oh, cover! Uh, if you that's what I'm asking. Can oh, I? Can I? Oh, I understand what you're saying. The thing. If you go prone, then yes. Oh, Logan's <laughs> he cares too much about what other people think to go prone. Um. <laughs> Let's be real. He's not going to ever go prone in front of any of you. Even if it would save his life, he would rather die on his feet. Um, Yeah, I'll post up right here. And uh, if something appears in my line of sight, I'll take a shot at it if I can do that. Okay. Sounds good to me. Uh, So you're preparing an action to pew pew? Yes. All right. Eli. Uh, which side is it coming from? Uh, Karis will let this, you know it's coming from the north. This side, over here. Okay, I'm going to uh, roughly... Roughly? If it's, a, if it's the size of... Mm, <laughs> I stand by it. Um, <laughs> like this. I know you wanted romance this season, Jesse, but come on. <laughs> uh, I didn't necessarily say romance. Roughly. I know what I'm after. <laughs> <laughs> romance is unnecessary. Oh my god. <laughs> so I'm going to put grease right there. All right. So you go ahead and cast the spell grease. And splat. Right, right over there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> As your action, grease splats uh, right next to Logan. You have a bonus action and movement remaining. I don't, I can't see it, so I can't make a check. Yep. So I'm gonna, oh shit! I'm still on the tool. No, you're all good. I'll, I can I can take care of that. Thank you. You're welcome. Not 
take a step back. Okie dokie. Uh, does that end your round? It does. Top of the round, Karis. Uh, Karis is gonna uh, light a torch and give it to Maggie. <laughs> okay, so it's an action. You light a torch and you just yeah. just plop that right <laughs> in uh, Maggie's mouth. Hold <laughs> that. Doggy wow. Doggy got a stick. Uh, Doggy awkward, got stick. Awkwardly, Doggy got stick. Awkwardly wags uh, metal tail. Metal stub of tail. Help us see, girl. Oh. Uh, okay. Woo! Yeah, nice. my girl. Mm. There okay, we go. You can spit the cigarette Good out idea. now. <laughs> I, I it, say that. You spit it out now. Do you spit it out? It's like a concentration. You can go and spit out the cigarette if you like. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you can drop concentration on the cigarette if you like. Yeah, yeah. He, he, don't spit he, it in the plastic plants. I don't want to, you know, start. Spits it on the, he, he spits it on the ground and snuffs it out. As you spit it out on the ground, you spit too hard and it hits the back of Pinchy's head. Ah! He deserves it. Sorry. I uh, won't kill you this time, uh, human. Oh, thanks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Pog. <laughs> Dash, what do you have in your mouth? <laughs> Spit it out. <laughs> Dash. Uh, bonus action investigation. I want to find out if it has uh, resistances. Okay. That's, that is a suitable question. Uh, with a 13, which is sufficient, uh, it has no vulnerabilities, resistances, or immunities. Cool. From damage okay. Types. All right. Um, and you know what? Hold up. Uh, please stop. Yeah. Uh, for no wait, that was my bonus action. Never mind. Okay, she's gonna back up again, and then that'll be my you, turn. You could say it was your action if you'd like. It's up to you. Uh, wait, wasn't my action giving a torch to Maggie? Yes, it was. You are correct. Yeah. Soft brain, soft brain. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Uh, all right, that'll end my turn. Okay, good turn. Uh, at the end of your round, <laughs> look straight over at the party. I see it. Can I Eldritch Blast? You absolutely can. As your reaction, you deploy your Eldritch Blast. Nice. <laughs> That's a miss. Ah, uh, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know why. That's Everyone hated that. that. That definitely feels like a what you can <laughs> do in the dark dislike. Eldritch Blast! <laughs> can I right. uh, shoot it? Yeah, uh, did you prepared that action, correct? I did. Then yes, you can. That's your reaction. Yes. Let's go. Hold on, I gotta do it for my character sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you gotta shoot it. I'm trying to shoot it. I hit it, man. I'm working <laughs> on it, man. I hit it, man. That's a weird attack roll. What the fuck? What are you doing? What are you uh, doing? What, what are you doing? Go there you go. There we I go. Yeah, oh, there you go. Look at that. Uh, that'll hit uh, for, oh my God. Oh my God. The perfect roll. As you see, well, a, a, well, well. A, a part of its uh, arbor just goes out at that point. I don't like how little that bar moved. Yeah, same. Yeah. It's got to get across the grease. Don't worry. We're fine. It's got to <laughs> get across the grease. It's 12 feet tall, and if it fails the deck save, it falls prone. Good luck. It's got to get across the grease. I just gotta get across the, the grease. All right. Is that uh? Is that it? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. These are all reactions. Uh, anyone yeah. else? Uh, okay, I think that's that's that. Uh, Karis, you're done. That was the end of your turn. And Dash, now it's your turn. Um, Dash is gonna move here, shield up, ready, um, because I have a uh, shield master now. So I'm gonna mm. prep that if if he does get past this, um. I want to attack and shove him back into it. Hell yeah. Oh, Shut nice. It. That's my prepared action. Okay. Is that edge around? Yep. I see the enemy. 
Okay, let's go ahead and do a little strat here. Uh, Pinchy will sigh. Who spilt all this grease here? <laughs> Karis, uh, some Karis points. <laughs> oh, mama. <sighs> it's a trap, Pinchy. Chill. It'll get here eventually. But I could have gotten to it now. <sighs> Fine. So could I. We could use this grease. Uh, bears the dodge action again. Spice uh, steps forward, prepares the dodge action. Victor. Uh, okay, I'm going to do... I'm going to hold my action. Oh, actually, I'm going to use my bonus action to begin with mm -hmm. to s see what kind of attacks it's got. Okay. Investigation Arcana, please. Uh, I'll go for the Arcana. Was there something about Arcana which I could do with Charisma? Or is there nothing like that? I, I can't oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, you can, let me check my notes. Uh, as a Warlock, checking my homebrew rules, a Warlock can use Charisma instead of Intelligence for Arcana and Religion checks. Nice. Um, so then let me find something that has the equal value then. Because uh, I'm proficient in Arcana, so it would be equal to my, my Intimidation, I believe. So I'll just roll Intimidation for this, I think. Okay, that works. 15. All right, uh, 15. Uh, so just so you know, I can only get, I'll only be able to give high level information. I won't be able to give any meta information. That's okay. Uh, the AX3CU you'll see is uh, brandishing this giant cleaver of an ax. Uh, it has a melee attack uh, where it attacks with the ax uh, for anyone that is in melee. And as you can see from the previous corpse is an extremely dangerous and deadly attack. Probably the most damaging thing uh, it can do. Uh, adorned across its shoulders, not only decorated with these uh, uh, these gothic pauldrons, uh, you will actually see it lift slightly. And by studying the creature, you'd notice that those aren't shoulder pauldrons. Uh, those are missile launchers. Uh, it has the capability of making ranged attacks with those. Finally, you will see at the back of this uh, giant uh, automaton, two th large thrusters which can be safely assumed to use some sort of charging tackle. Um, otherwise, its movement is fairly slow. Okay. So, uh, to get a bit weird with this, I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna hold my action for when my, uh, my clover is within five feet of him mm -hmm. uh, to do shocking grasp. Ooh. Okay. Because I can use, he can use his action to dash and he uses his reaction to deliver my action spell. Sounds good. So, yeah, hold my action. He'll fly over there within five feet. And then I'll do shock and grass, which is this thing made of metal? Uh, yep, absolutely is. Uh, it means I get advantage. Does that hold shift click, I think, right? Shift click, correct. Hold? Hey, eight points of what damage, and I can't take reactions. Yep. All right. That's the threat. Okay, that ends your familiars. Mm. And then I'm going to have him, because that would be 40 feet, 5, 10, uh, 15, 20 down. That works. And he, he doesn't get hit because of the ah. reactions. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, All Foundry good. apparently moves the token when I press space. I'm trying that to figure is, that out how is to correct. anchor. That is correct. Uh, All right. How do I, sorry, yeah. how do I anchor waypoints? I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I have no idea. I apologize. Okay. You're gonna no, have to. Fine. You'll have to look that up. Um, okay, that ends your round, Victor and Familiar. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it moves, and then you will see it open one of its shoulder pads to uh, aiming straight at the front line. I'm going to flip a coin. Uh, one is going to be aimed at uh, Dash. The other is going to be named at Pinchy. 1D2. 1. Uh, that'll be at Dash. You'll see the Seeker pin just kind of as you just are def you, you, you hold the shield up. Uh, 17 is insufficient to break past your massa 21 armor class. 
Hell yeah. Hellebore. Piper. I was muted. Hi, I'm, I'm going to shoot that with a gun from my book. Okay. Which gun, though, is the question. Uh, I haven't used this one yet. Yeah, I'll just shoot it with a chill touch gun. Do you guys see a health bar on this thing? Yes. Oh, wait, yeah. Too? Yeah. Oh, okay, I don't see it. Weird. You guys, you guys just tell me how hard it is. <laughs> uh, it's got like a third of the bar left. Woo! It's not oh, moving We've done that much now. damage? Oh, no, it was already hurt. Oh, God. It was already hurt, yeah. All right. Then I'm gonna, like... It can't heal itself. Yeah, it cannot heal. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. And that's it for me. Okay. Logan. Uh, I'm going to use uh, Insightful Fighting on this dude. Bug it. Um, I don't know what, uh, I guess, do I have to roll for Insightful Fighting? Probably. Probably uh, it's bonus action, you just make an Insight check. Again, say creature that can see that isn't incapacitated, contested by its deception. See that shit, you son of a bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and see that. Well, God good, damn. Good, news. good news. Check out this critical deception check. <laughs> hey, anyways. <laughs> what an idiot. All right, yeah. And then uh, I'm going to take another shot at this fool. At advantage with sneak attack. That it oh, nice. yes. Oh, yes. If you just, oh, sorry. You don't get advantage. You get... Uh... You just, you just, you're able to do sneak attacks now. A 15 is okay. sufficient, dealing 10 points of damage, and you can roll sneak attack. Oh, I intend to. Oh, I intend to. Big damage. Yeah, good damage. Really proud of you. Okay. Does that wrap up your round? Uh, yeah, I'm going to stay right here on the opposite side of Greece. Okay. And then Eli. Okay, um... Damn, there's not really much I can do outside of just... laying attacks at it, I guess. Uh, wait, was the the bit about the charge attack relayed to us? The thrusters? Uh, I, uh, uh unless otherwise stated, uh, any information I give to a player through investigation is usually relayed to everyone else. Unless yeah. a player specifically is like, I keep that to myself. No, I would have been like, it's all weird things. I think it's going to dart forward. Oh, yeah. I, I, I also gave that information are. to Victor. <laughs> what sort yeah, of... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what sort of architecture is this? Uh, mm. Damn it. I need to make it. Mm. Its ass looks like it could ignite at any moment. <laughs> I know a man like who could do this. <laughs> I saw a dragon who flew across the sky this morning. Have any of you seen the novel Thunderpants? <laughs> very erotic, very disturbing. <laughs> okay, uh, what's the range in my scrap blade? Uh, I believe it's, I think I gave it a 60 feet range. Uh, let's see, Artificer font. Yeah, uh, you can make a range attack with this weapon if you are, oh yeah, I literally didn't say that. That's smart. Uh, 60 feet. It'd be uh, 60, 120 as the total. Okay, and I will hit it with uh, that and then my pistol or, or the other way around if it, I forget what, uh, what is necessary to activate the Okay, uh, give me a second. So we're gonna do, uh, the pistol. Give me one second, please. Yeah, it would be considered light, fuck it. Okay, uh, so you, so as an action, uh, you would attack with the, uh, scrap blade, and then as a bonus action, use the sharp pistol, meaning we would not use the modifier towards the damage. I'll make sure I give that, that, that nice uncommon there. So, yep. Yeah, feel free to attack. All right. Uh, that would miss. And All that right. would miss. As it just, you just see it go flying around the giant automaton. 
Okay, I believe that ends your round unless you have any movement remaining. Oh, that's me. All right, um, so... Neither of us used Maggie, if you want to have Maggie do anything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it would be a bonus action to command Maggie, so if, since you already used your bonus action to shoot a gun, uh, Maggie is going to, by default, take the dodge action. Okay. Um, I, I, I can send Maggie in and have it do a taunting slam. I don't know if that's a good idea. Unfortunately, you have to use your bonus action to command me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You already used your bonus action on the pistol. Never mind. So, so uh, yeah, Maggie can move uh, someplace if you'd like her to. Uh, otherwise, but by, but her action is just going to default to, da to uh, dodge since she wasn't given a command this round. All right. Uh, Maggie, do you be dodging, though? And Pinchy also be dodging, though, but not for long. All right, so at the top of the round <laughs> before Karis goes, well, first of all, at the end of Eli's round, um, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and aim uh, a missile as a legendary action. Uh, the right pauldron will open up shooting a missile directly at Logan. Uh, 19 will hit and deal eight points of piercing damage to Logan. Yo, Logan's always getting shot. <laughs> I know, dude. It's gonna be Swiss cheese by the end I'm of it. I'm gonna take out more bullets out of him. God damn it. <laughs> uh, Fine, don't even worry about it. Uh, for I've some shot before. For some reason. Come on, Foundry. I'm trying to open up your, your token window. It's not working. Okay. Uh, 28 out of 36. I can't get, unfortunately, Logan's hit point bar visible because the well, tokens are I guess aren't I, didn't, I wasn't hit. You were absolutely hit. No, the bar's not there. Bar's not there means you're dead. How about that? <laughs> that's like the D&D &D version of being at the cashier and being neater, like, neater. Well, guess it's free. <laughs> guess it's free, exactly. Guess it's free. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refresh real quick. Sorry. See if I can log back in because I don't know. It's what. a it's like the reverse of the if it has a health bar, we can kill it. If yeah. it doesn't have a health bar, it's immune. Yeah. That's what it is. I <laughs> guess it didn't happen. And I'm here running all the games I run, being like, oh, I haven't heard that one before. Wow, how original. Yeah. He's just gotta get look, he's just gotta get the hits in <laughs> while he can now. Yeah. Starting next level, I become unhittable. So just Unhittable? You dude. I get uncanny dodge next level. I get Holy evasion shit. at seven. Holy I, like, shit. It just, from now on, it just gets even harder to hit me. <laughs> dodge, I get elusive eventually. I'm invincible. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Cause I've I'm got... getting hit now. I feel like I'm a part of the game. Eventually I'll just be like, and I dodge and I dodge. Oh, I dodged again. Oh, just, I dodged uh, again. I'm, I'm just telling you next level. I'm going to get so bored because of how often you're never going to hit me. Uh, you're so. going to hit me. At the, so uh, just to recap, uh, at the end of Eli's round, the missile is launched. And then at the top of the round, the lair action, uh, you will see the Gothic automaton kind of squat down a little bit. As you begin to see those thrusters that I explained begin to spark and light up. And then I'm just gonna draw, I'm just gonna draw uh -huh. one of these. Like, yeah, like, right? Yeah. What are you drawing? What are you that, drawing? That. Hmm. I love it. Question. Yes. Is this, what, is this an attack of some sort? Yeah, uh, it looks like a. Uh, so no attack is happening yet, uh, but let's just pretend this is a Final Fantasy 14. So this dude's revving up to do one of those, like, I'm going to jetpack my way through your bodies kind of move. Which would explain the bludgeoning damage to the multiple areas of this facility. Mm. Yeah, that's right. That's true. Because he hits you like a truck. He hits you but, like a fucking truck, yo. But he's got grease. So any any mm. straight line, not a straight line. That guy's going to slip. Stand your ground. I say stay right there. <laughs> Don't move. I'm going to slip. I, oh, I do slip. not trust that. Boy, we, we love that gamble, don't, don't we? We love that gamble. <laughs> okay. Stand your ground. You've got a shield person in front of you. It would help if a shield person was in front <laughs> um, of me when I got shot at, but like, you're fine. <laughs> so an, actu an actually helpful thing, potentially. Yes. Um, I have enough movement to be able on my turn to get around to the back of him and try to attack and shove him into the grease. <laughs> 
Fuck yeah. So I can try to do that on my action. Oh man, that. Okay. Oh, you can stun him with the grease. Karis. Okay. It's it's time. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna come over here. Oh, here she uh, go. Uh, just so you are aware, uh, the way that you move like that, um, if it wasn't you in might... the grease. Okay, so you, you you're doing fifteen. Uh, are it's you doing... twenty. Okay, it, okay, hold well, on, five, ten, 15. okay, you're good, you're good. Maris, be careful of the grease! I see it. And she's There's gonna... so much! <laughs> it's all the way, it's five feet away from me, practically. It's fine. Uh, no, she's gonna summon her, her astral arms. Okay. Astral arms have been summoned. Uh, DC 15 for dexter dexterity save on okay. Buddy over here. What the hell? Okay, there it is. Dexterity save. Let's go. Hey. This. Hell yeah. Oh, nice. God. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. We don't got a good dex. So it's just uh, damage dealt, I see. Yep, damage dealt. Oh. Uh, and then for her bonus action, she's going to take a good old punch at uh, whatever was weakened. <laughs> uh, right. I'm trying to find it. Uh, that'll hit for six points of damage. Mm, I love rolling one on that. Uh, and then she's gonna back up. She has enough movement speed. Uh, she's gonna, please, back up over here. Okay. And that'll be her turn. I uh, just need to check one quick thing. Uh... Okay. So... Um, it is going to spend its reaction to do an opportunity attack against you. Uh, I don't get opportunity attacks. Uh, for what? Uh, for because I punched. Okay. And cool. I backed away. Then you don't get. They, yep. All good. Yep. You don't get attack. I don't need. I don't need proof. Uh -huh. I just. I just want to know exactly, just directly where the the source comes from. So yeah, it's yeah. all good. Uh, okay. Then dash. It's your turn. Um, Dash is going to see it revving up and look at the grease and go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and I'm going to attack it. Okay. Um, come on, where are you? Okay, I'll just use the... Uh... Is Where something. is it? Uh, if you bounce over inventory and weapons, it'll be the protector's tower shield. Which there we a, go. Yeah. And then you just click that. Boom. No. Nice. That is your action. Yep. You have a bonus action or any movement? There's nothing made? I can do with a bonus action. No. Nope. And you use your bonus action to check if this goes off on his turn or not. Uh, I don't get the sure. chance to move if it can does. Do, yeah, can I do that check? Absolutely. Investigation or Arcana. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, does that complete your round? I guess so. I can't okay. move, so. <laughs> uh, as a legendary action, you'll just see it just turn over for a second. And then the cleaver goes down. Boom! Uh, oh, they hit! And, oh my God! All right, and then you, leave. and then you immediately see why this thing almost cleaved a person in two as thirty-one points of damage is dealt to Dash. Bam! Damn. Dash, I'm okay. <laughs> and then it's just gonna. Holy God! And then turn back to continue its charge. Uh, Pinchy will stare forward, seeing this mammoth thing uh, come down, uh, and it'll just go. Finally, a challenge! And then it will charge forward, and using uh, Pinchy using their reckless attack uh, is going to attack with a Callisto Glaive at advantage. Uh, 18 to hit, which it does, dealing 15 points oh of my damage. God. <laughs> nice, Pinchy. hell yeah. You'll just Pinchy. see it. You'll see Pinchy leap up as you kind of see, like, it's as it leaps up, it springs with almost these, like, dragonfly like wings, and it just 
lands right on the chest. It just begins tearing away with the glaive. Okay. Uh, that'll end Pinchy's turn. Uh, at the end of Pinchy's round, the EX3CU will use its Seeker Pin at disadvantage because it's attacking while something's in melee at Karis. 10 will miss, and we will move on to Victor's turn. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, 35. Watch out for the grease! Yes, he's walking across the ceiling. The ceiling. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to look across this creature, weave up kind of a, a little hex in the air, and then, but not cast hex, I'm going to cast Bane. He has to make a charisma saving throw. DC ah, 15. His best save. <laughs> I thought so. Ooh, <laughs> look nice. at, look at you. <laughs> and uh, then I'll use a... Uh, I don't know what I can do a bonus action for. What do we need to discover now? Uh, oh, we still don't know when it's when it's doing this charge. When the dash goes off, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll use a bonus action to try and decipher when that's about to happen as you just kind of see the flames just building up from behind this creature. Give me that uh, intimidation. Yeah. Ah, Ooh, beautiful. Oh. Uh, so uh, the charge uh, starts as a lair action at the beginning of the round, and then it goes off at the end of the round. So uh, he'll move through the area uh, and anyone that's in the area will be hit with a, with a charge attack. That thing looks like it goes off every six seconds, so. Move. <laughs> Move? That's oh. it. Uh, oh. And then for my little dude, uh, I'm gonna try and do, uh, I'm gonna try and bait in. Um, I'm gonna try and bait in an attack opportunity. He's gonna take the dodge action as he flies past. Okay. And then just carry on flying over towards me. Okay. Uh, yeah, as it, for, so for this, as you fly, it does not take an opportunity attack. No, it doesn't think you're significant enough, you little I shit. I think it already <laughs> used it on Karis. <laughs> it, it didn't use it on Karis, no, because Karis uh, was able to, yeah, to dodge out of oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will let you know, because of your critical success on the Arcana check, uh, it's heavy attack, the Executioner's Axe that it does. Um, it, it deals a massive amounts of damage you see, but you immediately can see the arm is still down. It takes, uh, it, it, it takes until the end of the round to go back up, meaning, uh, it can only use this Executioner's Axe once per round, no matter what. So if it uses right. a legendary action or an action, it can't do, it can't use it twice per round by any means. I look to the, the clover and go, you fool, I said to be quicker, quicker <laughs> round, go, you, you weren't annoying enough. <laughs> like stare at me. <laughs> oh, baby. It just it'll uh, blink slowly at you and just lick its like weird deformed nose, <laughs> like a malformed pug. Sickening. <laughs> Disgusting. All right, that ends your round. Uh, oh, its action is going to shoot. Yeah, shoot at Karis again. Disadvantage uh, once more. Whoopoo. Uh, Karis has 17 AC. That will not break it. Hell yeah. Elabor. It's me. As you. I'm, I'm moving. Oh, God, I'm moving. Eugene, <laughs> get over here. Uh, I look at robot. Uh, Eugene will move at the end of your round, just so you're aware. Okay. I, I, I'm not, I don't use him for much anyway, so. I know. I'm, I'm just, not going to I just want just just wanted you aware. Yeah. Uh, in case you had a use. I really, my spells aren't gonna do much here, and I want to save them in case I we want to leave. I'm just gonna shoot it with chill touch again. Cool. Okay, Eugene, come to me. Bye. That's that's it. Okay. <clears throat> Logan. <laughs> bye, bye, bye bye what i gotta do uh once again i will fire across the awesome power of bullets 
Mm -hmm. I'm getting to the roll. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's, that's nice. good. Nice. That's good. Sneak attack can be rolled. Oh, that's good, too. That, that is good. As you slowly begin to just... Pew, 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 pew. Just begin to tear away uh, the exterior hull of this creature. Question for you. I don't think yes. we've ever addressed this. Like, the sneak attack, does that count as a waste of ammo? The sneak attack? Uh, the sneak attack is part of the ammo. Gotcha. Okay, so I've only fired three. Okay. That's correct. It's your, part of your it's pistol has ten. unlimited ammo. Uh, I, yes, it does. That's correct. Yeah, Eli uh, tinkered it, so it has unlimited ammo. I don't ammo. have to ever reload? That's nope. correct. You son of a... You see the clip is just always glowing. It's completely overcharged because of the tinkering uh, Eli had done. Also, it's counted as a plus one weapon, thanks to Eli as well. Thanks, Eli. <laughs> thanks, Dad. Got <laughs> you gotta stop making uh, Jesse I mean, feel these kind of ways, man. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty. It's like all right. It's a it's fine game. Okay. Okay. Like, whatever. <laughs> Let me tell you about that grease, though. <laughs> I can't really even smell it. For it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Does that end your round? It does. Okay, Eli. Uh, second verse, same as the first. I'm gonna start blasting. Let's go. Uh, that'll hit for seven points of damage. That's your action. You have a bonus action remaining. That'll miss as the bolt will... I'm going to use my clockwork amulet. Not the clockwork amulet. Not the clockwork amulet. Well, hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it wouldn't get any bonuses, so never mind. I will not do that. JK, pretend that wasn't said so we can get a big surprise at the end. Okay, so that's good. Does that end your round, Eli? I can use my bonus to scan it, or I can have... You used your bonus it. already on the pistol. I'm right, I keep forgetting that that's it. Yeah, All good. Gonna... You're good. Okay, so at the end of the combat round, you will just see this. You'll feel it. Uh... You'll feel it dash as like the you just see this huge just <laughs> let me see if I can actually do this yeah you just see burn this, this body <laughs> burn her oh my god dude what the fuck what the Jesus. what the fuck dude Jesus Christ yeah I think we're going all out oh, I'm just knocking glasses over <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ all right and then it just begins to thrust forward the moment it thrusts forward it immediately makes the deck save what DC are we looking at DC Eli 14 <laughs> so the following's gonna happen uh, yeah, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. So as it's charging through, it immediately just slips, falls on its face, keeps charging as it's the body and face is just dragging alongside. <laughs> no, it's my God. Oh my <laughs> as you God, just, incredible. As you just see this, the, the thruster just <laughs> as sparks begin flying everywhere uh and then the thruster goes out and it is currently prone great amazing <laughs> i was like yep that's probably what's gonna happen okay that's a win for you all right and now uh the other shoe is about to drop Oh God. Uh, oh God! As you see, uh, Dash, this wall just 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 shatters back, uh, as if someone or something tore through. As you see, another oh, one see another one begins I moving forward. Uh, this one is holding a giant shield instead of an axe. Uh, good news though is this one seems to uh, be a little bit more. This one seems to be more damaged than the other one when you first encountered it. So, I'm just gonna uh, name this one with shield so you know which one's which. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and roll initiative. Well, bam. Okay, that's the initiative order. Karis, it is now your turn. Uh, Karis is gonna come over here and do her thing. 
She's gonna, she's gonna do it. You just see Punch. this thing just absolutely torn, scratched. The paint is ruined. Uh, nine points of damage yep. as you she begin pounced. to tear. Also, keep in mind, because it's prone, this will be at an advantage. I rolled that for oh, you. Oh, excellent. No, no crit. Uh, but yeah, that's your action. Uh, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna try to take this thing out. Um, I'm going to uh, flurry of blows this mm. and do two more unarmed strikes. Mm. Mm. Uh, that'll be, a, uh, both will be advantage and advantage. So both hit, uh, dealing 17 points of damage. How do you dispatch of the first mecha? Uh, she has a habit apparently of ripping and tearing. So she's going to uh, grab it and pull it apart at the seams. Just make sure it is completely out of commission. Okay. All right. Yeah. And it immediately already just insult the injury. You managed to uh, tear this thing down as it seems that uh, this uh, battle is turning a new leaf. All right. With final hope, uh, with fi some final hope in the air, uh, everyone uh, will be given, uh, as you see the first one down, and now that you all can see that this has been defeated, uh, you all will receive the effect of a bardic inspiration that you can use Ooh. for the rest of the fight. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Uh, Dash, it is now, uh, Karis, uh, you done? Uh, no, not quite. <laughs> okay, continue, please. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Move here. Okay. And now I'm done. Okay. Dash. Um, Dash will yell to everybody else. There's another one. And oh, um. Uh. Oh, God. I don't think I should go in there by myself, especially at this health. So, um. I'm gonna do what I did before. I'll move here, mm -hmm. and uh, if he gets within range of me, I'll I'll hit and shove again. Okay. Um, bonus action. I guess I'll do what we did with the last one and see if I can figure out where this guy is the most damaged. Okay. Uh, you can go ahead and do an investigation or Arcana check for that. Oh nope. my god, my fucking rolls today. Insufficient. Nope. Do you move anymore? No, I stay where I am. At the end of your round, as you continue to study at this giant automaton, you'll see the left pauldron open up as a missile gets fired straight towards you. Uh, it will hit uh, your armor class for a six. Uh, I also need you to roll, uh, and this is on me, uh, constitution. Two, two constitution saves because of the cleave of the uh, first attack. Uh, two constitution saving okay. throws, please. Right. Just to see if the shield would go down anyways. Uh, 18 would be sufficient, and 12 is sufficient. The shield of faith remains. Great. Okay. Pinchy goes, where? As you say, there's another creature. Pinchy can't see where it is. Uh, points. <laughs> Excellent. Prepare to die, weakling. <laughs> And it just get, runs over again. Uh, always, you notice with Pinchy, will, whenever given the opportunity, use a reckless attack. And uh, same as before, the dragonfly wings flutter up. 23, 15 points of damage is dealt to the creature as you just see Pinchy just ripping, tearing, and slashing. Um, Pinchy's as, pretty dope. As Pinchy continues to tear, uh, this one will drop their shield down to the ground as a resonating echo goes down the hallway. As you see, this one apparently is more defensive than offensive. Uh, it is blocking with the shield. And that is the end of its round. Victor, it's your turn. Um, pause the game. I don't know if you know that. What'd you say? The game is paused, so we can't- Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Move or anything. Yeah, thank you. I am going to Eldritch Blast it. Okay, please make your attack roll. Mmm, 16 would be sufficient. However, the shield, as it is, it hits the shield, just immediately nullifies the Eldritch Blast doing nothing. 
Uh, okay, I will walk five, ten, just gonna walk to the side over here. And that is it for my mm-hmm. turn. Okay, I'm just gonna see if I can real quick. Hmm, mm hmm. Uh, I have to do one quick thing, my apologies. <laughs> uh, I'm going to apply an effect. It may or may not mean anything. What? Probably means Wait, something. What? Uh, this creature is facing north, by the way. Winky face. What? All right. Uh, Hellebore. Oh my god. I'm moving. I'm moving. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a lot closer than I thought it was. He once again pulls on the back of Dash's shirt. <laughs> Dash. Hey. 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 You get down here. Dash, I you're feeling a tug at your away. shirt. <laughs> I uh, got her right when she walked away. No. No. <clears throat> yeah. Feeds <laughs> potion. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, action for potion. Uh, Dash is going to heal for 12 hit points. Just yeah. like get down here, dude. Yeah. I pour it in your mouth. Chug it. It's like a shot. Uh, chugs it. <laughs> All right. And then I look and I'm like, yeah, that's a lot closer than I thought it was. And then I misty step away. Hellebore <laughs> is that bad friend from college that makes you do bad shit. <laughs> Drink it. <laughs> okay. Oh, 100%. But like, it's also ride or die. Yeah. <laughs> ride or die, baby. Ride or die. Does, d- does that end your round, Hellebore? Yeah, I misty stepped back because he was just like, mm, that's a lot closer than I thought it was. I go back. Logan. Um, I'm going to sit tight and ready for anything. Like the minute I see a dude, I'm gonna pop him with the awesome power of popping him. Gotcha. So you're ready in action. The moment you see him, you're gonna shoot with the gun. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, at the end of the round, uh, Pinchy is gonna get uh, a disadvantage hit with the shoulder launcher. Ten is insufficient to break Pit- Pinchy's armor class. Eli, it's your turn. Um, you will see this automaton has a giant shield down currently. I don't see shit. Oh, Maybe you don't you see shit. Out. Maggie needs to come down closer. Because Maggie's a light source. Yeah, I'll yell for Maggie to come back us up. Okay, that'll be at the end of your round. Is there anything else you'd like to do? I, I can hold another grease. That'd be funny. <laughs> that would be pretty you funny. Know what? If you got grease, use that grease. Uh, give me give me your uh, condition for using the grease. It walking into my field of view. Okay. So the moment you see it, you you may cast grease. Yes. Okay. Your round ends. Correct. Well, I'm, I'm gonna wait until uh, I'm. The condition will be if it gets close to dash. Okay. Uh, how close? I need a specific for that. Within striking distance. Okay, so in melee range? Yep. Okay, sounds good. Uh, at the end of your round, uh, so that's like 20 feet. Uh, you're free to move as well. Uh, you're free to move um, Maggie as well if there's another area you want Maggie to be. Or you can ping and I'll move Maggie there. Should be fine. Okay. That ends your round? Yep. Okay, at the top of the round, you'll begin to see uh, this one just you, the same thing. You begin to see the thrust in the flames behind. Uh, while holding this shield, it begins to squat. It just squats down. Uh, I will do a... Let me see. Right there. Wahoo! We have fun here. As a lair action at the top of the round, uh, 
it begins charging its little uh its little thruster butt. Dash, it is your turn. Oh goodness. Um Oh wait, uh um, Oh sorry, Kar Karis, I don't know why I skipped you. Oh, My apologies. Okay. Karis. Okay, yeah. Uh Karis is gonna come down here that's 25 movement is it is the shield facing in any particular direction or it is facing north gotcha oh i see okay so it's 20 25 uh 30 oh it's wedged in there i see uh you are able uh. to squeeze through this spot uh it'll take double movement okay so that's 10 that's 30, 35. Uh, Are you squeezing through? I'll, I can move your token if you're having any issue. Uh, You know what? No, I'll stay here, but I'll just punch from far away. <laughs> okay. Because arms. Sounds good. Uh, the astral arms will yeah. flurry past Pinchy. Okay. Seems to be a breeze. Uh, 18 is sufficient. It'll break through as you'll actually s slap around the shield. Heck yeah. Uh, and then one more for bonus action. Mm, well, nope. Cool, Psst. okay. As you begin to see your connection to your arms of astral self waver, uh, the next attack you make with the arms of astral self uh, will be at a disadvantage. <gasps> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Karis is gonna back up one and then that's my turn okay dash dash okay um you get that shit homie oh i think uh yeah dash is gonna move in there five ten fifteen uh just this, keep this mind. is a wall though isn't it yeah uh there's a small gap uh it'll be double movement to get through okay so it would be like 2025. 20, Correct. Oh, it won't let me. And then I can move you. 30. Yeah. Right. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, as you as you approach, you see this massive shield is protecting its front side, um, and it kind of like slowly turns over to you with the massive great shield. Um, but you notice that its turning ability is is way slower uh, than the other one. Interesting. Okay. Um, does the shield look like it's been hurt or just the automaton itself? Or is the, the shield part of the automaton? Uh, the shield is a part of the automaton. Okay. So kind of like how the, it was like that cleaver arm was grafted. This is like a grafted shield on this thing. Right. Um, I'm trying to figure out if Divine Smite will ruin my concentration or not. It will not. Because Thunderous Smite does, so I'm just, okay. Okay, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to smite it. Okay, uh, so to a smite, you have to make an attack roll. I attack and then add smite if it, if it hits, correct? That is correct. Okay. Uh, oh. A 17 will not hit. It Fuck. hits the shield. <laughs> Bro! You see it is well fortified behind this great shield. But okay. something seems to be uh, particular about it. If you have a bonus extra remaining, you can still do an investigation or arcana check to learn more about the shield. I would love to. Okay. Nope, I wouldn't. I would hate to. All right, <laughs> you have decided you hate to. Does that end your round? Soldier. Yep. Okay. Uh, Pinchy will just go. <laughs> Do you think such a pathetic piece of metal can stop me, the great Pinchy? And uh, will attack at advantage uh, with reckless attack once again. Uh, 15 is insufficient as you begin to see this thing just <sighs> foiled again. And you'll just see it look down. It sees the thrust coming from the butt. And uh, yeah, Pinchy's just gonna. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna sidestep. Uh, after you. Okay. Um, 
EX-3CU, uh, as part of their action, uh, will launch missiles over at Pinchy, again at, dis at disadvantage, uh, because uh, Dash is in melee range. 11 is insufficient. Uh, and once again, as an action, drops the shield down, remaining defending. Victor. Yes, I would like to, uh, I'm gonna hex him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'll do, you. It for, uh, do it for strength. And then I'm gonna try and hit with another Eldritch Blast. Okay. Um, which is this one? Oh, all right. So as you attack, as you attack with the Eldritch Blast, even though it doesn't look like you would break through it to begin with, uh, you will just see it just fade into the shield, uh, completely nullifying the Eldritch Blast. Uh, this appears to be a, a property of the shield itself, and not because you weren't able to break through its defenses. Mm. Eldritch Blast! <laughs> blast! <laughs> uh, you have a bonus action remaining. Uh, no, my, my hex is my bonus action. Ah, so I'm apologies. Done, so. Okay. Uh, does that end your round, or would you like to do any movement? No, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Uh, Hellebore. I, I come over here and do a little peeky poo. Mm-hmm. Wow. Can, can, I, can I bonus action check what the shield is doing? Yeah, absolutely. Investigation okay. Arcana. Okay, I'm good at both those. Let's do Arcana for fun. Oh, hey, so let's talk about this executioner's shield, shall we? Um, yeah. So, ahem. oh, I, it actually doesn't reveal that information. Awesome. I'll just, I'll just read it out. Uh, as an action, uh, EX3CU slams down the shield, entering a defensive state, gaining the following to all attacks that are not made uh, from the opposite cardinal direction of where they are currently facing. Uh, so plus four to AC. Uh, whenever this creature is targeted with a ranged weapon attack, a ranged weapon spell, line spell, or magic missile, roll a 1d6. On a one to five, uh, uh, EX3CU is unaffected. On a six, EX3CU is unaffected. And the effect is reflected back to the attacker as though it originated from EX3CU, turning the attacker into the target. It's immune to all conditions and has an advantage on all saving throws with any spell that has a save for half damage becomes a save for none. Uh, e if EX3CU is damaged from the opposite cardinal direction, uh, this effect drops, and then this lasts until the beginning of the next round. Uh, so that means, is it facing uh, north? Uh, if you attack it uh, from its south side, uh, you're able to drop the effects of the shield. I was going to magic missile it. I'm glad that I checked that. I'm, I'm sure you did, yeah. Sorry. Oh, God. Yeah, sorry for that. Uh, anyways, uh, is there anything else that you'd like to do? Uh, looking at my spells. You know what? Sure, I'll throw it. I'll throw a chill touch at it as an action just for funsies. Okay. Uh, seven. Uh, once again, uh, it will be completely nullified uh, okay, as your chill touch uh, hits the shield. I'm going back. Bye. Sure. As a friendly reminder, any range attacks made against the shield will be completely nullified, and if it rolls a six, it gets deflected back to you instead. Yeah, I'm just looking cool, dude. No point. I don't want to waste an action just doing nothing. All right, Logan. I, man, I can't actually see this dude. So, um, I guess I can go to here. Also, as a friendly reminder, you all have a D6 of Bardic Inspiration. All right, I'm going to take a shot. Actually, before I take a shot, mm -hmm. um, can I, s I... I can't see if anyone is engaged with this creature. Does that affect whether I have my uh, sneak attack on? You will have your sneak attack. Well, you have to... Do you, you, um, hmm. Because if someone's engaged with the creature, I get sneak attack. Uh, but if I you, can't see that. Uh, so you don't have to necessarily... You don't have to be the one to see that. As long as, as someone's within five feet, uh, you get your sneak attack. Right, 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 right. But because I can't see it... You don't have to see the creature. Or, sorry, you, I'm sorry. You don't have to see who right, well, is... I'm going to make an educated guess and assume someone's fighting the thing because I, what I'm trying to say is like whether I have 
in character whether I would roll. Right. Because I don't know if someone's engaged, but I would say I would say you were always trying to attack uh by going all out, which means by default you're always trying to aim for the weak point. Um it's just okay. a matter if they can cover that weak point. But since there's someone within five feet of them, um they can't. So you're always attempting sneak attack whether you know a creature is there well, or not. Well, well, well. Okay. Uh, then let's take a shot at this big, dumb, stupid idiot okay. with his stupid face and hopefully lower than expected uh, shielding. Whoa! All Whoa, right. Potato, he take no damage. So uh, the, uh, the, air, the bolt will, again, just completely reverberate from the great shield that's been placed down, uh, nullifying the ranged attack. Nullifying it? Yep. That's what the thing we just checked said. It's a ranged weapon attack, ranged spell attack. While the Nothing. shield is down, any ranged what attacks? Sneak attack? Does that count? Nope. It's all part of the same attack. Shield down, attacking from the north. It's a nullified attack. Uh, that is your action. You have a bonus. Uh, you have a bonus action remaining, uh, and any movement that you may have. I'm gonna stay right here next to the dead body. It's probably the <laughs> all best. right, Eli. <laughs> yeah, if I if I rolled a six, the crit would have been reflected back onto you. Uh, Eli. Hey. Did you um, move Maggie? Yes. You can't move Maggie until the end of your next round. Well, it'll. I'm just moving there and ending, so I'll just have Maggie move as well. Okay, sounds good. Uh, at the end of uh, Eli's round, a seeker pin will shoot, uh, yeah, directly at Dash. Why not? This will be a disadvantage. As a legendary action, 10 will miss. At the end of the round, uh, the th oh god. Oh my god, I just saw that it's going to hit the grease again. Yeah, me too. Uh, the thrust <laughs> will... And as it goes through, it, com no. it completely <laughs> blasts through... Uh, this this sort of like this wall, this wreckage over here. Um, so now people are able to clear and walk through there as if there was an interference. This uh, this rock is also broken through and salvaged as you see the automaton continue to charge. And uh, once again, uh, while it hit when it hits the grease, it has to make a dexterity saving throw. Failing, it's the no. same thing. It falls straight on its face. The thrust continues to push it forward, uh, and it is currently prone. Uh, since it falls prone, it drops its uh, shielding effect uh, and is no longer benefiting from the great shield's effect. Uh, prone, top of the round, Karis. Uh, Hell yeah, uh, Karis is gonna run up. We all know what she's gonna be doing. <laughs> Here uh, we this go. Will, this will be made at an advantage, uh, nine points of damage. Uh, this is your, oh, sorry, this is your astral self, which means that it would have been made at disadvantage to the advantage, which means it would have been a 25 either way, which means nine. So the disadvantage effect drops. Continue. Oh, okay, yeah. That's right, I forgot that she had disadvantage. <laughs> mm -hmm. All good. Um, well, let me check my key points real quick. I have two left. Uh, Grease is the MVP, dude. <laughs> Grease, is, Grease is the MVP. Grease is great. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna flurry of blows. Okay. Uh, and just, do I continue with advantage? Yep. Because, because it's still oh, prone. Uh, 22 hits, uh, doing nine points of damage. 23 hits, doing eight points of damage. This thing is getting yeah. beaten up pretty hard, pretty quick. Uh, and she will back up 10 feet. Uh, as a reaction, uh, you'll see a little bit of thrust from the thruster. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Toot. Toot. He farted. Is that he it? Fart. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, okay. Dash. Um, I'm not sure what to do. I can't reach it. I I can I can run, but I can't like hit it. Come party with us. 
So I guess I'll... One, two, three, four... Uh... Who goes after me? Uh, Pinchy. Don't worry, Flesh Sack. I'll help you in combat. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> dash, if you will. <laughs> uh... Okay. And just um, stand in front of everybody with the shield. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be useful at all. <laughs> okay. That's it. I mean, you, 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 you are, you have provided many use by being in melee with this thing. Uh, it, its uh, range attacks have all been a disadvantage because of that. Uh, okay. Uh, Pinchy. Where did it go? Ah, uh, yes. Feel the wrath of Pinchy. Ah! T- 10, 30, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30. Go get them, Pinchy. Go Pinch- them, Pinchy. And then Pinchy stands there and just goes, <laughs> uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get them next time. All God right. damn it, Pinchy. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you were so close, Pinchy. Uh, uh, as a uh, part of its movement, it will slowly be able to stand up. Well, no, not not that. Uh, it will slowly stand up. Uh, it can't. It l- quite literally can't do any more of movement, uh, and it will slam down its shield once more. Uh, but this time, it is. Uh, facing south with the shield. Victor, it is now your turn. Uh, so it's south? Yeah, south down, okay. Yeah, it's south down. Northeast. Yeah, so yeah, it's facing down. 5, 10. I'm going to go up behind it, walk down the wall, draw out my sword, and go to kind of make a slice against its armor. Okay, let me make sure I actually... I have... Yeah, you had Blade of Cicero. Epic. Yeah, I've never used it, though. Is it with dexterity? Uh, it has... Uh, no, it is not a finesse weapon. But you are proficient in it. So give me one second. Make sure proficiency checked off. It is. So it's a strength-based weapon. Oh, then. Cancel that. I'm going to stay back here. Okay. Um, uh, I'll just just blast it. See if I can get through kind of the shield. Okay. Is it currently prone still, or is that back on the speed? Uh, the shield is back up. Any the shield is back up. Yeah, I can't do it then. Yeah. Um, but as <clears> des- <throat> described by the effect, if you're attacking by its opposite cardinal direction, uh, the effects of the yeah. shield is nullified. I'm just trying to think where. Yeah, I guess I can. I can go this way, and I think I can get that far. Yeah. Actually, wait. You leveled up while you were holding the sword, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Then, yeah. these, then the sword levels up with you. Give me one second. I have to change something real quick. All right. So let me let me check something real. Sorry. One moment. It's uh, a plus 19 sword. So uh, because you leveled up while wielding the sword, uh, you gain the noble trait, which allows you to... Not noble. I'm sorry. The vibrant trait. Uh, which allows you to use your charisma modifier for attack and damage rolls while wielding the sword. I'm 100% doing that from its back then. Um, I will do... I'll just roll this manually. Uh, Okay. It'll be a roll. 20 20 plus... What's that? Is that proficiency plus three right now? It is, right? Uh, Yep. And you're already proficient with the weapon because you are of the Cicero clan. Nice. So it'll be a 1d20 plus 8 to hit. Uh, it's it's actually already a part of the uh, sword. All you have to do is roll it. Oh, okay. Then I'll do it again. Yes, please. A 25 to hit. Uh, yeah. Uh, seven points of damage. Seven um, points of smash. So as you, as you sort of unwield the sword, you begin to just see it kind of gives off this vibrant red glow, uh, and it feels light within your hand, uh, being a a member of the Cicero clan. Uh, You strike, and how would you dispatch uh, this creature? I think he runs across the ceiling and, like, almost slides down the wall on his knees, 
-hmm. whilst pulling the sword along with him, like kind of grinding it all the way through the creature and just cutting straight through, cleaving it. As you just slash up, you just immediately see, yeah, this this, this automaton just plummet, just completely fall down, uh, ending the encounter. Combat has officially ended. Good job, everyone. Uh, Karis is probably gonna, like, run up and check on Dash, because she saw that hit. You all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Everyone alive? Walks into Greece, slips on it, face <laughs> plants. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right. Uh, removing bardic inspiration from everyone. Now that the combat has concluded. Uh, just so you are aware, uh, when it comes to these uh, boss, or for this one, technically mid-boss encounters, uh, there will always be the opportunity for loot. You just have to ask. You just have to ask. Also keep in mind that sometimes loot is not direct. You may have to do additional challenges to salvage. Is there direct loot? <laughs> is there direct loot? Uh, yes. No. I'd also like suggest maybe seeing if we can take out the memories of this one since it's That's freshly dead. That's what I dead. was going to say yeah. too, yeah. Yeah, I was going to, Eli rushes over and uh, jacks in. All right, so this is where we're going to have some fun. Uh, you currently have enough time to jack into both of the automatons. You get one attempt, uh, meaning uh, once you do the skill check, the attempt is made. Uh, and if you succeed, you will extract the information. If you fail, uh, it will wipe from the database. You currently uh, have Is a there any way to assist? Uh, you have to either have, so the, so you could assist through the normal ways that skills can be assisted through magical means. Uh, the only way to do the help action is if you have someone, uh, proficient in Tinker's tools. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Uh, so that would be Logan, right? Uh, Logan has thieves tools, not Tinker's tools. Oh, yeah, no, I don't have the gotcha, right gotcha. tools. Like, so guide it, like, yeah. like guidance, own. yeah, guidance or uh, enhance abilities, et cetera, et cetera. Like those kind of magical effects. All right, you are on your own then. Eli, go ahead and give me a tinker. Oh, that's check. great. <laughs> so immediately you just hear. <laughs> oh, shit. And the memory is immediately wiped uh -oh. from this one. You have one more uh -oh. attempt specifically with the other automaton since it's still within the same minute. So I'll dart over to that one. Yeah. You you kind of like uh, uh, playfully almost slip on the grease, but you manage to, get to, to keep your stance as you go over there. Just All right. Some guys. Believers. Are you kidding? Ah! Oh my and, God. And with that what? one, the memory is wiped. Unfortunately, you will not be gathering any information Holy from shit. this. What the oh, fuck? That's unfortunate. That it is it, so unfortunate. It is a thieves tools moment. All. Oh. And you know what? For a little salt in the wound, your tinker's tools break. Oh, oh he has mending. It's fine. He has mending. It's okay. <laughs> he, he has mending and he knows he has mending. He has mending, dude. <laughs> I don't mend them immediately. I just put them back in my pocket. I, um, I will let you know um, if you are looking to get any sort of valuables from these creatures, it will require tinker's tools. Uh, to do so. Uh, cool. Fine. <clears throat> I wouldn't worry, Eli. They weren't alive. I don't think they have memories. I don't see a brain. That, that's not quite how this works, but I appreciate the sentiment. I'll, uh, I'll mend my tools. Okay. Uh, you see go ahead and, and, and mend and salvage the tools after a minute of casting. Uh, you slowly begin to piece around sort of like the burnt ends of the Tinker's tools, uh, re re able to reattach that there. Sometimes the dice determine misfortune for the group, sadly. All right. Uh, so if you wish to extract some parts, uh, just easily looking over this, um, some of the things that you can extract uh, are the weapon that they use. So the cleaver off of this one, the shield off of this one, 
and just general parts as well that, if successfully salvaged, uh, can be used for Tinker's Tools projects. Um, or you can just sell for raw credits. Um, if you fail the uh, the check, no worries there. Uh, you will still be able to get just some basic scrap parts. Uh, nowhere near the value of the parts that you would have been able to extract, but hey, at least you would have gotten something. Um, yeah, I was going to ask about the shield. How big is it? I assume I, it's bigger than mine. Oh, it's it's massive. You wouldn't be able to wield it. However, uh, using the Tinker's tools to extract, uh, you would be able to take a certain component part of it uh, that would actually be utilized uh, as a shield you can wield. Do I... Dash, like, <laughs> knocks against the, the other shield a bit and knocks on his own. Do, do I feel like that shield is, is better? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> More importantly, uh, it's better in a more defensive stance than it is in an offensive stance. Obviously, you didn't actually see uh, this creature at all use the shield defensively. Um, but I will say that with some time, if you do successfully extract from this, you might be able to combine the best of both worlds, uh, either as a uh, smith uh, tinkering away at your shield or Eli uh, tinkering away with their tinker tools so you can get the best of both qualities. That is, of course, assuming you can get the shield, salvage the shield successfully. Right. Um, yeah, I think Dash would turn to everyone and say, I, I don't think that it's safe for me to keep using a shield that has the logo on it. He'll, like, gesture to his shield. I like it. Yeah! That's a good point. Ditch that. Good, R good, good RP. No, good no, RP. no, you should keep using it. It looks good <laughs> Thank on you, me. Victor! Don't throw it away just yet. I might not be able to get this thing. I'll, uh, uh I'll walk can, I, can I help at all? Can I, I don't, hold it steady or? Actually, if you can hold this light. Holds light. While morally speaking, it's good to have that light. It will not provide you with the skill bonus required. You're on your own again, Eli. Roll that Tinker's Tools. I'm assuming at this point to extract the shield. Uh, a 14 is sufficient. Oh, thank God, my boy. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can, there guys. Let's tell him what he won. Uh, it is a plus one shield. Uh, very, um, so it has a plus one quality, which is awesome. As an action, you can use the ability Bulwark. Uh, until the beginning of your next turn, you gain plus two AC. In addition, you gain a legendary resistance. If you use the legendary resistance, you cannot use it again until you finish a long rest. Meaning while you're using the Bulwark ability, if something attacks you that requires a save and you fail that save, uh, you can instead say, nope, I succeed using the legendary resistance on the shield. However, oh, you can only, hell yeah. However, you can only do it once uh, as it will require a long rest to reset that specific ability. But the Bulwark ability itself, the plus two AC bonus, uh, you'll always have if you use the Amazing. action to Bulwark. Right. And so what I was uh, saying is uh, what you can do successfully as a project, either with Smith's tools or Tinker's tools, uh, is extract that bulwark ability uh, and place it uh, upon your protector's great shield or uh, extract the offensive abilities from the protector's great shield, which sounds like what you're trying to do, and mm -hmm. place it on this shield. Uh, because the shield will be a plus one shield, uh, this will also count as a plus one weapon. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so I will give this to Eli for now in case you want to do some tinkering around later and we can we can get into that and how that works at a later time once you have the downtime to do so. Uh, you can also extract uh, generalized parts from this uh, to use uh, for tinkering projects. Uh, tinkering projects for uh, Tinker's Tools include things like uh, enhancing abilities by adding risks to them, uh, building minions, building turrets, and building vehicles. These are th all things that you can do with Tinker's Tools. Uh, yeah, I'll collect the scrap. Okay, that will require another check with the Tinker's Tools, please. Spending some time, you'll see Eli begin to take apart and try and salvage what is left from this this mech. An eight is insufficient, so as you begin to try and tear apart um, to get some of the good parts, um, the design itself is really almost 
I was about to say alien, and that that leads the suggestion their way. So it's it, it's uh, a bit foreign. Like this is not. It, it, like this isn't done the way a traditional engineer would do however you do manage to get some basic scrap parts uh that uh, will be added instead of the specific scrap parts which is way more valuable than this and that is all you can extract from that bot you still have the other automaton if you do wish to scrap uh, that one and the uh the dead one you can ex also extract some some parts from but you won't be able to get any like weapons or anything like that i leave the option up to you yeah I'll, I'll take as long as i can as long as the party will allow me to go to all of these and uh okay. start salvaging i'll try the, the cleaver see if i can get anything from it okay go ahead and give me some a tinker check please uh, nice. eight, yeah, 18 sufficient. That is w well over what is required to extract. So after spending some time again, uh, you will successfully get the great axe. Uh, this great axe, it's uh, pretty good for anyone in the party that may use it, although I'm sh unsure of who would. Uh, it is an EX3CU great axe. It counts as a plus one great axe. As a bonus action, if you did not move this round and you successfully hit with a melee attack roll with this weapon, uh, you deal an additional 2d12 slashing damage. Essentially, I mean, you're spending really all cool, but... spending all your action to do a uh, all-out attack. Um, also, keep in mind, all these items have um, value to it, so even if you can't find a use, um, you are able to potentially sell it. Would I be I, able to I, salvage that uh, that ability and slap it on something else later? Uh, so yeah, so there's a lot of there's several things that you can do. You can salvage that ability off, or you can um, tinker with the weapon so that it, currently this great axe is a martial weapon um, with some tinkering, uh, either with your uh, typically with Smith's tools, but but because you extract this with Tinker's tools, I'll allow the project for. Uh, tinker's tools as well uh you can transform this martial weapon into a simple weapon mm. so yeah i'll think on that i'll yeah. stow it for now and go for the scrap okay let's see how you do with the scrap uh 18 also sufficient so i i suppose for this one because you know you fail yeah even though you failed with the last one it was a great learning opportunity to see where you went wrong and you were able to keep away from the mistakes and because of that you now gain assorted uh ex3 uh, EX cu parts which uh value wise let me check here i believe is 10 times the value of uh basic scrap so scrap parts uh have a value of 25 credits uh, these have a value of 250 credits if you find the uh, the right uh, seller. Uh, typically, when it comes to market pricing, uh, you can easily sell things for uh, half its market value. Uh, but you might be able to negotiate or find a specialized seller that can either buy it for market price or at least a little more than half. So I that... Be That'll be added Sorry. to your... No, that's okay. I'll get... So that'll be added to your... Uh, I'm adding that to your inventory right now. And then finally, the one to the north, the one that's already been destroyed, as you kind of look and, and analyze this automaton, uh, you'll see the cleaver itself is completely trash, probably a desperate effort by the family to keep this thing away. But you do believe you might be able to get some of its parts, uh, It's kind of like how you did with this one, if you would like to make another check. I would. Okay. A 15 is sufficient again. You now have two uh, of the assorted EX3CU parts. That has been added to your inventory. And with that, you feel confident there is nothing more you can get from here. How long does grease last? I'm trying to figure out how long this will of Oh, oh, then that, yeah. So the grease has been long since gone while you, you've taken on this project. I was gonna say we could give the great axe to Pinchy, but I don't want him to use that on us one day. I don't want him to have weapons. Yeah, don't do I don't, that. Yeah. I don't want him to be able to use that against us possibly one day. So never hey. mind. Hey, flesh sack, I could probably use that weapon if you'd like to hand it to me. <laughs> oh, you need a weapon? 
I just thought you were so capable beforehand. I guess we could probably give him a weapon, you know, so he can get up to our standards. No, he doesn't need a weapon. He's so strong. It would just slow him down. Yes, Your attempt you mean... at diplomacy is pathetic. I would like the weapon, at the very least, for my collection. And you, you know what? Instead of asking for it, I am insistent upon it. Give me the weapon, flesh sack. What are you going to give me? Well, I've already given you my services. You see how capable I am with a martial weapon? Pinchy, give me your goop! What? The green goop gob that came out of you. <sighs> you Iodians are so strange. Very well, give me a receptacle so I can defecate in it. <laughs> you defecated in battle? <laughs> Wait, do you shit out of your sides? I defecate from all my pores. You know what, I... <sighs> Whatever expels the waste the fastest, sometimes from my very own mouth. Hmm. Logan does that too. I don't know if I want it anymore. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Lou, a... are you alive? As you scream echoing into there. Uh, the moment you scream that down the hallway, you kind of hear an, uh, uh, you hear a groan over to the north. Oh, I'm shit. <laughs> Lou might be alive. This will have to wait. Well. <laughs> Fine. Fine, yeah. Fine, keep your treasures, flesh sack. <laughs> keep your secrets. Keep your <laughs> secrets. It's my favorite meme. <laughs> <laughs> keep your secrets. Uh, you'll just kind of hear the groaning uh, specifically from this door. You recall this uh, was where the dining area was. Oh, I'd go Open back to normal, door by the way. peeks in. As you peek in, you see nothing because you don't have dark vision. Great. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pushes so Maggie in front. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean to just... <laughs> I got to keep it real, yo. Uh, Maggie will sort of jump up on the table and just go bow, bow, and like just muffled barks. Uh, at the end, you will actually you will see a gravely wounded Dean that seems to be leaning against the fireplace. <gasps> They're pointing a, uh, a shard pistol towards you very shakily, almost oh. as if attempting to fire. No, 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 we're, we're here to help. We're here to help you. Shaking and then just releases the uh, the pistol, barely able to hold on. Piper! Oh God, I'm coming! Stay away from me, <laughs> prot. And he attempts to spit at you, um, but fails to do so as he just coughs up blood. What happened, Wolf? <sighs> They came in. <clears throat> they ambushed. But it wasn't it wasn't classy. It wasn't by the book. They tore through the walls. It was those damn prots. I know it was. It was no. executed so flawlessly. None of the families would have done something so conniving. <clears throat> well, I will uh sort of grab his shoulder and uh, cure wounds. Alright. So currently uh, Wolf is dying. So the cure wounds will help. Um, so go ahead and give me a medicine check. We will be adding a plus 10 to this to see if the healing will, can will work. I assist does, as a medical doctor? Yes, uh, you absolutely uh, can. I assist. Does he look scared? Huh? Does he look scared? Oh, he, I mean, he, <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. I just imagined Victor with a smile on his face. He's scared, right? Oh no! I haven't, I haven't eaten personally, so I could, I could go for a, a go for a bite. Uh, yeah, he looks terrified. Specifically, I climb, up, I climb up the ceiling. Yeah. Oh yeah, are you still in dread form, my guy? No, no, it'll be gone. It'll be gone. Now. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm well, to... climb up the ceiling to go above them into the darkness. And just, just do you start sniffing them a little bit, trying to get that fear out, or like, what are you doing? Can I roll to see if? No, he's going to hold back for a moment. Okay. He's going to wait okay. until they've got the information, then I'll roll. Okay. Okay. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's already dead. Um, I so, thought I was fucked up. Let's so go. A, 17, <laughs> a, a 17 to medicine using your cure wounds will stabilize Wolf as he'll kind of gasp for a moment 
and then just like some oxygen will come in like as if he hasn't been able to breathe for a while <sighs> and he just pats you on the shoulder thank you Eli uh, these guys I'm telling you they came in they're probably working for him these bastards <clears throat> You gotta finish your muff. You gotta finish your muff now. And try, kind of tries to grab at your collar. He mutters that to you. He mutters that to you quietly so that the others can't hear, obviously. Where are they? Oh. Where's who? Lou? <laughs> She's fine. We got her out. <laughs> they thought they could take her out. But we're, we were waiting for this. We knew this was gonna happen one of these days. Prots were going to get tired of playing it clean, and they were just going to charge in, ready for war. <clears throat> You're sure this is Prots, this, the engineer, and ain't nothing like I've seen? Look, if you want proof, I ain't got it. I just know it deep in my heart. No other family would have the gall or the resources or the tech to do that. Yeah, sure, they look like some sort of outside faction, but I can see it. A lot of credits went into those automatons. <coughs> Look, man, I don't have the proof. But I'm sure in time we'll find it. Those stinking prots. It would track, Eli says to the party. Knowing what we know now about who's been leading them. What do you know? It's all connected. But we've been after probably whoever did this to you. What? Basad? Well, not. He just kind of looks at you waiting for you to, waiting for you to continue. Do you like pause when you say that? Yeah, he's he seems to be gauging like, just how much he should be telling. Hmm. Not oh, here. Holy shit. I didn't even realize it was seven o'clock. All right. Uh and with that, we're gonna pause for this moment and we'll continue on the next time for Dead Feeds. I didn't even realize it was already time. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I apologize about that. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Did you guys have a good uh good sesh today? Good sesh? Yeah. Good, 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 good. Then uh, the conversation will continue uh, next week on uh, on uh, Deadbeats. Thank you guys so much for playing today. Thank wow. you. You ain't seen nothing yet, Wolf. Get in here, Pinchy. <laughs> Hello. Oh, <God. laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet, man. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> uh, Sherlock, thanks for the raid, man. I appreciate that. I hope you had a good stream. Um... Yeah, good sesh, good sesh. Uh, that was that was enjoyable. Uh, next sesh should be pretty fun. Uh, learn a little bit, you know, some some good RP moments. I think it's gonna be a be a real fun time. Yeah, I think that was the first time ever that I just lost track of time. So uh, good on you guys. Hey. <laughs> I was I was into it, so I wasn't even looking. <laughs> I wasn't even looking. Oh my god. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, knock out some some. If I I know it's time, but if you guys can stick around for a little bit, we're gonna do some bing. We're, oh, that's this, I think this is the first time we've done bingo with this group, right? Hmm. Yeah, okay. We have to do bingo. So, uh, yeah. Wait, did you say, do we have to do bingo? No, I said we get to do bingo. Oh, we get to. I thought you were like, do we have to? I was like, oh my God, Summer. Talk to I, fuck, I talk to HB every day. Fuck him. I don't want to do his bingo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, we what we've started doing with all the other campaigns is um, uh, HB has been making bingo sheets uh that uh every well, the uh the chat gets to to do and and uh have some fun with and i was like yo what if we started doing uh uh bingo that could be uh, that could be a lot of fun you know so and it has it's been an absolute blast so we're gonna do a thing of bingo uh real quick uh these are all categories that were selected by the audience of what they think may have happened this episode and we're gonna see how uh 
how well the audience did. Uh, season two premiere, Dumb and Dumber Special Victims Unit. That feels a little aggressive, but you know, okay, I'm uh, I'm down for it. Who's D Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> yeah, who's the dumb one and who's the dumberer one? Mm. You know what? Except uh, actually, uh, we kind of know. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so uh, Karis being an absolute badass, I leave that up to you guys. Karis, yes, uh, yeah, uh, obviously. Yeah. Yay. Mm -hmm. uh, Logan, yeah, Logan, Ace Investigator. Yep, we got some investigation roles from Logan. That works. Mm -hmm. Eli Tinkers. Yep. Eli definitely tinkers. Now, definitely I, tinkers. so we got cursed RP. I was gonna say no, but we did talk about uh pinchy alien defecating poop. from all pores so yes yeah. we didn't talk about there, there alien was also poop. cigarette rp that's pretty yeah. cursed that's pretty cursed uh eli being big brained uh yeah we had that moment yeah. where eli was like yo did the and breaking the happen and the grease i'm already i'm already bongo bingo in here guys this is great that bingo immediately immediate bingo that's awesome uh a character from the first session returns no pcs duh uh from the first session like we're the first all season. characters from the first session no pcs. Oh, no pcs no pcs no pcs no, no, uh, no. i'm not i'm not a i'm not an npc no pc i'm a pc i'm a pc uh well you we know, just we did see Wolf. That is a that I think they met first season, and uh, yeah, unless they're talking about like first session, first session. I don't know. I'm gonna leave that unmarked. Uh, a more than average amount of sass. Uh, was anyone particularly sassy today? Anyone? I don't anyone? think so. I don't, I don't think, think so. we were particularly sassy. I mean, if you today. gave us time to role play a little more, perhaps we'd be a little sassier. But you took so much time fighting. <laughs> All right, there, there's a sass right there. Start that don't it. count. That don't count. You fished for that. I don't <laughs> fucking think so. I don't think so. Almost got me. Almost got me. Oh, my know, oh uh, Jesse. Clover yes. was pretty sassy. <laughs> True. Just, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm not. Just gonna I'm gonna say me. no. I'm gonna we say no. We already got a bingo. Why are we fishing for more? Uh, you're fishing. You're fishing. I want a double bingo. Sassy. Uh, Logan fails a thieves roll. Uh, nope. Uh, Maggie barks bow wow. Uh, Logan didn't fail a thieves tools roll. I didn't roll. fail nothing. No thieves he tools. He failed to go prone. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie to a roll. Maggie barks bow well. Guys, this feels like a free space. That's the only thing Maggie can say. Come on, guys. Uh Karis doesn't always bow well though. Doesn't always bow well. Karis' secret is revealed. Nope. What uh, secret? What secret? There's no secret. Secret of the ooze. Uh, that uh, was revealed. Uh, Dash and Piper being cute homies, almost, but then you had to bring cigarettes into it, and it's. I fed him. Cute about no, I my homie, take a shot. Okay, you know what? That that counts. You were very Kept small. We did shots together. You were yeah. very yeah. You, you were you 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 pulled at you tugged at the sleeve and fed healing potion. Yeah. Uh, the party leaves the continent. Nope. Uh, happy to have you guys back. Oh, thank you. Nat one. Yep. Oh. Piper does an experiment. Nope. Thought about it. Party tries to research more about the body snatching. Not yet. Uh, actions, consequences from other phase three parties are mentioned in this game. Not yet. Uh, Logan shows empathy reluctantly. Yes, we did see the the motivating speech role, and I think that is a reluctant, uh, empathetic move. I hate you. Uh, Cicero sugar addiction, no. Familiar fight, no. Piper's dad returns, not yet. Uh, Pinchy insults Ionians, yep. Yeah. Uh, the party finds out more about Ganymedians, nope. Nat 20, yep. And the shipping of Cicero and Logan continues, and I love it, yep. One bingo bongo. No, we didn't, we, uh, we didn't get two, but that's okay. I'll accept my one victory. I'm, I'm I not... had I had a bingo card up. I did not get a bingo. You didn't get a bingo? Aww. I didn't get a bingo. When you guys uh, do your own bingo, it, it fills out the categories randomly. So everyone's sheet is differently. If you guys want to participate, uh, go to our Discord and head over to our bingo channel. You can also suggest categories. It's been a lot of fun. Do you know what's also fun? Fucking fan art. You guys fart. want some, you yeah. guys, I'm farting. Do you want some fart gang? I'm looking for some fart. Uh, let me see here real quick. I don't, I need one. I need a moment to gather the fart. You need to the... actually think if Piper wants it any up. of that it up. alien think... poop because so... alien poop is tempting, but it's also poop. It's also, I mean, you're a doctor. Don't be a baby. It's, it's, it. it's, it's poop, but it's alien <laughs> poop, you know? 
Hey, can we, be toxic. can we check this out? Uh, Bear made a, 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 a IO second year anniversary. Oh, wait, I'm not sharing. I'm not sharing. I was yeah. like, why is everyone not excited about this like I am? Why aren't you reacting the way that I would? All right, I'm sharing the screen now. Oh, I love this. This is uh, all of the characters from phase two and phase three. And uh, yeah, it's uh, let, let's let's go over to uh, some folks. Can, yeah, look at these 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 muscles, these <laughs> muscles over here. Uh, this group hanging out, having some sippies. Don't like it. Don't uh, we, like it. And we got uh, we got Team Artificer over here. Uh, we got. <laughs> I like this. I like this. We've got. Uh, we've got Piper uh, going down, and with this going down. <laughs> oh Harry my God! No, oh, that's, that's really true. cool though. He's being held hostage by the three women. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah. That's oh no. Amazing. Uh, of course, we've got the two dampiers over here. <laughs> amazing. Uh, I love that there's multiple dampiers. Uh, and then, did I miss? If you want your bones or boneless, yeah. that's what the blast two are. Yeah. <laughs> With bones or without bones. And then, of course, we got phase two. I wish we got to do more. Hey. Egg was I like great. to imagine I he's got a whole voice. family of just people who are exactly like him. So he'll be out there. <laughs> Hello. Hey, honest, honestly, I would make Egg the patches of this universe, just not the asshole. <laughs> like an yeah, asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't realize he's like time traveling at all. name Egg. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, mate. Hello, Avery. <laughs> I love X. I miss X. I wish you did more of X. Um, and we got our phase two. We got a lot of phase two. Oh, look at Petra looks so mad. <clears throat> Absolutely. It's some uh some 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 good stuff. Some okay, good I, I do love how the misdemeanor AU is there, so it's like I know. Yeah. It's us and from the wood us. Yeah. Oh my god, that is true. That is true. Holy shit. I didn't, I was curious. I was like, why is misdemeanor twice? Because of the AU. You're absolutely correct. Holy shit. Oh. We got our gobos. We got yeah. our oh, look at Wazy. Look at yeah. Wazy. Oh, Wazy. <laughs> my heroes, heroes, heroes. The, the, the matriarch of goblins. That's fucking yeah. amazing. Does oh. one of the goblins have a leash? Uh what? probably. Oh what? Whoa, uh, oh Cheezel? That's Cheezel. That's a yeah. helpful restraining collar, yeah. or else <laughs> everyone in this image would be dead. It would just be Cheezel. Also, <laughs> also to my Phase One crew, this this is kind of accurate to the Phase One characters. We got Young <laughs> Wazio. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I like Kronovit. It's it's just emo <laughs> cranking. <laughs> <laughs> I love Data. <laughs> this is yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, data is so good. Yeah, that's I, what yeah. the fuck. That's right. That's right. Uh, also, uh, Poe. This is this is uh, this is we've never talked about Poe. This is what Bear imagined Poe to be like a little. Oh, amazing! Oh, little... look at yeah, all of those right ones. There's so many of them that haven't been mentioned, like Spend and Kit. Yeah, <laughs> Spend is oh, and and Marlo. <laughs> so we're like, I don't know. <laughs> so I honestly, it's great. I I like I like uh, Gnome Artificer Poe. That's uh, that's. I do too. Poe. It's a good take on her. It's a very good take. Uh, so yeah, we got that, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let me scroll up Joe, real. Oh, why does Al have a snail on his head? Was that your familiar? Yeah, he had a he had a flower snail. Oh my goodness! Huh. I love it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, check this out. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that upgrade <laughs> on the shard gun was dumb. You should have made it dispense fog instead. Oh my god. <laughs> Can we talk about how cursed this this? No, it's so <laughs> cursed. <laughs> hate it. <laughs> oh god, I hate it. Da oh oh god. my god. Yeah, uh, Dash is uh, is this pathetic, Pidgey? This is pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Good. This is uh, your ancestor's pinchy. I'm loving this rendition uh, that Lazy Shy Guy's been doing of All this. of these are yeah. so good. They're so cute. Yeah. So good. Oh. I love that. It's so... And then we've got this lovely little comic <laughs> right here. Oh, my goodness. Is it a good idea to drink hot brew before bed? Well, yes. Warm brews are a great way to relax and sleep. 
Doesn't the coffee keep you up all night? <laughs> of course not. Coffee is just a receptor dampener. Uh, dampener. You can still sleep since you're actually tired. I thought Logan said coffee gave you superpowers. You can't believe everything Logan tells you, I'm afraid. <laughs> how, so how does stealing Logan's coffee help us stay out of jail? Well, time for bed. <laughs> I hope someday I'm street smart as Eli is. Why, what did you two do now? I like this. Oh my god, Mom. Dash is Hobbs. Yeah. Oh my god. I love, I love little that the little dash wow that's so good dash is my hobs dude oh oh baby boy. Yeah, boy. Thank you. very also, good also can i just say how much i love this <laughs> <laughs> This is our matching Christ. Discord icons now. <laughs> yeah, I, I know yeah. you guys changed this to the your uh to your icons. That's amazing. Oh my god, finger guns. A. Hey. Hey. I don't know why this is here Paula. a second time, but that's okay. Oh, we'll god damn it. <laughs> it's a different. It's a different dance. It's a different dance. It's a different dance. You are right. You is are he right. Flossing? Oh no. <laughs> Oh, um, no, the foot's broken. It's, it's great. <laughs> I am so proud that you all have made, uh, the fan artists have made memes of everyone, meme versions of everyone. <laughs> so, so here's all the memes of uh, of everyone over here. And got a little Skagzag doll. Is that my bed. mom on the wall? Is <laughs> my mom in the clover yep. on the wall? Yep, yep. <laughs> Is oh my that God. Remo coming out of the bucket. closet? Yeah, yep. I was just yep. gonna say. Yep. A Re Remo, there was one meme we've got where Remo opens there. Uh, Flying Solomon has been making these little jingles that have been absolutely delightful. This one's called Eugene Got Caught. Let me shut this up a little bit. It's so delightful. So delightful. Uh oh. That was where he died right there. That's yeah. where he died, yeah. That's where he died. Yeah, right that's the death. That's, that's the death. You can hear the boot stomp in the uh, piano. Uh a bit of a sleepless night. Let me hit the play. Logan's insomnia. I don't have insomnia. This Wait, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it's it. That's not it. That's not it. This doesn't sound very Logan-y. And then, no, by doubt, this isn't what plays in my head when I stay <laughs> up all night. <laughs> uh, this one is labeled the Model Faculty of Medicine of the Regional University of North Ishtar, hereby grants Piper Hellebore the degree of a doctor in medicine. It's my medical degree, baby! Mm. Yeah, it doesn't look legitimate to mm. me. Hasn't been revoked yet! Let's go! Uh, no. Yet. 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 Uh, here is uh, Dead Beats, the Final Fantasy logo. Ooh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and today's fan art begins. Look out for the incredibly useful grease. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for the grease. Look out for the grease. Oh, my God. So good. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up our fan art uh, for, yeah, for, for Dead Beats. So thank you guys so much again for uh, playing. And then we'll be back uh, next Thursday, 4 p.m. EST. Sound good with you? Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you again. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye. Enjoy the grease, everyone. Enjoy the grease. Okay.